Finboy says, for my mum's wedding, Hendu, she went to the Coronation Street Studios for a trip, followed by a night on the town in Manchester. That is grim, Finboy. That is not information I would freely offer up in any context. You don't happen to know a thing or two about Coronation Street and could jump in and tell us about it, do you? Well, if anybody does volunteer to do that, I'm all ears during this. In any case, we'll get it going then. This is our 162nd punishment game. You know, when you balance that out against the 200 and something weekly one-shots we've had, it doesn't look like a great ratio, but we've had punishment games for a variety of reasons, and also there are 102 hours of hell behind that. Regardless, we've had a lot of horrible punishment games, and this one might just be adding to it. It's Coronation Street and the Mystery of the Missing Hot Pot Recipe. Uh, one of our channel regulars, Euristocrat, aka True Leveler, aka Jeremy Corbin, uh, has promised to play this game for about two years or so. Still hasn't, but it rolled as my punishment, so I'm stealing his thunder here. Let's just go in for it and see where we end up in a couple of hours. Would you like to go? Well, uh, let's go with the new game, shall we? So here's Becky. I don't know who Becky is. Uh, keep an eye on Amy. I don't know who Amy is. I'm not paid to be a childminder, so maybe, oh, crikey, it's gone a bit too fast for me. I'll see to them, please, Betty. All right, just this once. So we have a Becky and a Betty. Isn't that a bit confusing? Also, wasn't there a British soap opera that was actually set in Australia? Maybe that was Neighbours. Again, I, I don't do, I don't do British operas. Okay, there's Amy. Will you tell me the story of how you nearly lost the hot pot recipe? All began last summer. All right, so the whole the whole story is a flashback straight away. It's a very British-looking street. There's a, there's a name for those kinds of houses that we saw there, but I forget what it is. That's a good idea of a local. That seems to be lost on people outside of Britain. Everywhere has a local. You can't say, oh, we don't have one. Also, that looks way too small and pokey to be a post office. I refuse to believe it. Maybe the, these locations are meant to mean something to me, but then this isn't going to mean anything to anybody that isn't into Coronation Street, is it? No, I know what you mean by terrace housing, but I feel like there's a there's a slang name for the, the houses that you saw. Not the ones that were terraced, the standalones. Okay, Steve, you're up. You seem pretty tall here. I always keep a copy of my hot pot recipe. Yeah, I mean how hard could it how hard could it be that you need to write it down? I got wind, the Weatherfield Arms was trying to get their hands on it. I tore it up just to be safe. I was just about to throw it away, a breeze okay. So I guess we're going to be going and gathering up pieces of the recipe? Nah, I don't know. Steve is saying that we were clever, good for us. Don't have a go at me, I was only trying to protect the recipe. I can't seem to click through this, but I don't want to skip the rich lore setting dialogue here. Right, I'll ask this lot to look out for them, they'll do anything for a free pint. <laughs> Crikey. Not much of a mystery if she tore up the recipe and the wind took it. Nah, nah. There must be more to it than that. Listen up, anyone who finds a missing piece of Betty's hot pot recipe gets a pint on the house. Okay, so I guess Steve is just offering that up. I have never been in a pub that offers up free... Is that that guy out of, um... Shaun of the Dead? The stepdad guy. Looked like it. Okay. So, straight away you can tell contextually here it's a hidden object game. But, a uh, slight problem is that this game is running in about 800 by 600 resolution on my considerably larger than that monitor. So I'm having to get really close to the screen just to see anything here, just to even read this stuff. So oriental fan, book, crowbar, duck. Ah, now you see fan of gaming. Now that is an Americanism. There's no problem with the word oriental in the UK. Your simplified English language is no match for the granddaddies here. Okay, so I guess I gotta find all these things. Well, there's a duck straight away. Um, you know, I always find it hard to remember all of these when I'm looking around. I look at anything and I have to quickly go back to this to figure it out. Any case, there's our... Well, I wanted a pint glass, but that'll do. There's a the pint glass. Anyone want some perfume? I didn't click on the perfume. I clicked on a purse. I, uh, okay, there's a book there as well. A bottle of something. Anybody want an apple? A bottle? A weird Russian doll thing? Whoa! What's happening to my cursor? I think maybe if you miss a few, yeah, if you miss a few times, your cursor just starts going around like that. Probably to stop you just going back and forth like this. Okay, what do we have up to? Well, yeah, jinx. Okay, is there an Oriental fan anywhere? 
Come on, folks, let's play together. Oh, is there an axe? Oh, no need for an axe. Oriental. F what, what makes a fan oriental? What makes a fan occidental? Do we need a guitar? No, I guess we don't need a guitar. Why do you need a rubber duck for a hole? I don't know why we need half these things. Okay, we found a hook. Hook was on it. Pinata. Anybody spy a pinata? No, not a parrot, not a fish, not a poster, not that. Whoa, round it goes. This is so hard, the screen is so small. There's a pinata. Uh, a globe? Come on, I've seen a million globes in my life. Where's this one? That's a globe. A drill bit, a mallet, a bowling pin. A bowling pin? Sounds like an old thing. Why have they got so much crap around this pub? A teapot? Oh, there's a... What, what was that even? Heavens knows. Is that a crowbar? Looks like a crowbar. Yeah, I can see there's a guitar, but I don't see guitar on my uh, the list of things that I need. Oriental fan. Oh, round we go, go. Again. Oh, hey, there's the bowling pin at least. Oriental fan. I can't see in my head what that would even look like. Right, a drill bit, a teapot, and a fan. Is that not a drill bit? No? Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I see something that looks like a binocular thing over there. Which, oh, look, that, that looks like something that would have the hot pot in it. There's a set of keys there. Hmm. Oh, yeah, one of those foldy uppy fanny things. Right, of course. Of course. You have no idea how small this is on my screen, and I can't stretch the, uh, stretch the size of it either. I suppose I could lower my own screen resolution, but... No, this is meant to be a punishment game. We will accept the punishment. Where the heck is that fan? Hmm. Bunch of crap everywhere. Yeah, this guy looks very confused. Who is that? Again, if you're familiar with Coronation Street and you want to tell us all about the lore of it, hop into uh, voice chat and I'd be happy to, happy to hear it all with you. Well, from you. Where the hell is that fan? I need a fan, a drill bit, and a teapot. These don't seem like things that would be hard to find. And yet... Ruining your eyes for the fans, yet the, te the teapot is too easy. Well, it's easy when you know where it is. I do not... Oh, that looks like a teapot. Okay, so drill bit, an oriental fan. Is that a drill bit? No. Drill, drill, drill. Mm -hmm. Looks like a ladle of sorts. Drill bit and a fan. Drill bit and a fan. What, what about the weird things up there? Six million viewers per episode, my goodness. Okay, this is way too small. I'm going to have to change my display settings and change screen resolution to, oh geez, uh, 1600 by 900. Okay, now God knows how this looks for you. Probably not, oh God, I've, I've gone and broken it all now, haven't I? Let's see, up you come. Good enough. Okay, now it's huge for me. Brilliant. Now I can activate my eyes, and surely I will instantly see what I'm looking for. Instantly see what I'm looking for. Yep. Mm-hmm. Drill bit and oriental fan. Drill bit? There we go. I bet nobody in chat saw that. Thankfully I did, now that I have this thing at a reasonable size. No timer on screen? Planning on beating this? Maybe. I don't want to leave it unfinished now, do I? I think we'll just we'll just commit. We're going to find that hot pot recipe tonight. But uh, hopefully we can find an oriental fan while we're at it. The hint button is there tempting me, but I, I will not be dragged in by it. Where the hell is that fan? 
Fan of gaming, come on, this should be up your alley. Any plans for the Jubilee Bank holidays? I don't even know when the Jubilee Bank holidays are. And it probably isn't relevant here in Sweden, and it's definitely not relevant for me, so... Maybe we can find something... Oh, hang on, some things are kind of blurred out like that. Maybe there's a fan that looks like that. Can we help you or not? You certainly can, Mechanical433. The problem is there are moderators who absolutely hate people helping me, and they are savage, so... It's a, it's a tricky one. Oriental fans do not fall under my area of expertise. I cannot help. Oh, hey, there's that bowling pin. No, that's a bowling ball. Uh, mm, holy macaroni. Where the hell is it? Can we point out all the things that aren't fat? If you blacked out everything that isn't a fan, that would help me out greatly. You need Oriental fan of gaming, but he's busy playing Kamadori. Where the fudging hell is that fan? Come on now, it's got to be there somewhere. In this immensely cluttered pub here. <clears throat> oh, did you did you finish Kam Kamadori there, fan of gaming? I wasn't aware you were playing through it, but a great choice nonetheless. Oh, I see it now. Wow, that's well hidden, says Ludi. Ah, oh, damn. If even Ludi can find it. What am I reduced to here? Where in the world is it? Mm, I'm a fan from Turkey. Is that Oriental enough? Well, if you're not in the Occident, you're in the Orient. Hmm. I'm confused. Is this a British game using Asian stuff or Asian game using British setting? No, I believe it's a British game in a British setting using all kinds of junk. Where the heck is... Oh, Christ almighty, what? I thought I was looking for an actual object, not something that looks like an optical illusion there. Okay, let's check for a piece of the hot pot recipe. So now I need to find a torn up piece of it, which is somewhere here, I guess. The wind carried it in here. Where's my free pint when all this is said and done? Also, what does it look like? Scrap of paper? Hmm... Anything east of Constantinople is oriental, says Nami Blub. There we go. Is that it? That looks like a recipe. Who is this gormless tosser, anyway? I wonder if he's actually from the show. They certainly didn't get any voice acting for the show, which seems like a crying shame. That's Steve McDonald, says Heldon. He's in the show. Heldon, do you know much about the show? Are you able to point, uh, jump in on voice chat and start telling us about the uh, the show so we can all feel like we're getting something out of this? Oh, sweet Jesus, where is that recipe? What is it even going to look like? She tore it in shreds, so it's going to be a shred of paper somewhere. Mmm... I doubt the actors even know they're involved in this. <laughs> Poor buggers. Okay, is the no smoking sign the recipe? No. Is the recipe lodged inside the, uh, the stereo system? The booze? Mm. Oh, don't mind me. That Canadian leaf. Is the cat chewing on it? Recipes lodged in his brain. I don't think there are many things lodged inside that man's brain. What? Uh, quite the challenging hot pot recipe game here. Interesting, uh, the way it just throws away what you do there. It looks like bags of sugar up there. Maybe for making mojitos. Is that 
blessed recipe. Up to the teddy bear. Maybe it's blended into the scenery again. This looked like a shred of the recipe right here, but that I can't click on that. Oh boy. Yeah, Portuguese nasal sounds. Feel sorry for them in a way. That that old coot couldn't have told us, I don't know, the colour of the paper she wrote it on. What kind of shreds she tore it into. See it blue in here. Maybe that's not logical. I was thinking maybe it'd be in the floor or something. Next to the boots, the barrels, the ship, the chair, the blended in spoon. Do you know what color of shape it is from early experience finding other recipe bits? We haven't found any recipe bits yet. This will be our first, if and when we find it. Where are they? Man, this is painful stuff. Faster. I'm trying to find it faster. I can't even see the thing, though. Is it? Is it behind the till? That is one old-fashioned till right there. Okay. Oh, hey, it's one of those wee shieldy medals, the kind that you get for your your school's football games. Mm. I'm not seeing diddly squat here. It's not underneath the the thingy that you put your drinks on, is it? And it doesn't appear to be inside the teddy bear either. Not inside the shark. Auto-clicker won't help because it keeps uh, throwing my mouse around whenever we fail enough times. Where? Oh, where? I can't believe the fan was there. <laughs> Alt F4, now that would be another advanced technique. Just putting that in in case somebody can jump in with the lower. I would like to kind of know what we're working with here. Who is this guy? Where is this pub? And who's the old fart who's lost the recipe? I think it's behind the hint button. No, I will, I will not be tempted by the hint buttons. Well, I'll be tempted, but I'm not going to hit it. I will, I will go there, though. Right side, blue paper, right under the beer poster. Oh, no, I tried, I tried that bit there. Unless you mean this thing, but that's also not it. It looks like the game, though. I don't know what that sign is. Mm. No, sadly, I can't click on this thing either. Jesus, Crivens Almighty, where is it? Yeah, it's it's not under the cat either. We give the cat a go. At least at least the chat doesn't know where it is. That that always makes things a lot worse for me. If the chat knows where it is and I don't, it's uh, it gets very painful. Can you switch screens and come back later? No, it's got to be here somewhere. We'll find it. I don't know 
to look for. I'm guessing it's just a shred of paper. Yeah, what kind of punishment game would it be if we were using the hint button? I have some standards. Ah. Uh, that said, chat, if you think you have any bright ideas, does it happen to be a blue scrap of paper in a Scottish train station? Is this meant to be a reference to something? Mm. Is it in your mouth? Are you holding it? Inside the ship. No, it doesn't appear to be inside the ship here. Inside the skull. Another Nancy Drew game. Legend of the Crystal Skull. One of the better ones, even. Cheers for playing it. What? One, I'm pretty sure I clicked there. Two, that was the mast of the ship. Not the mast, the uh, the sail. Okay, well, there we go. Right, who's Ken? Again, he looks like that stepdad out of Shaun of the Dead. Uh, could this be it? Yeah, let me get your pint on the house. I'm beginning to think I should have offered a bag of nuts instead. We need some more cheese and onion fetching up, Steve. I'll see to it later. Uh, cheese and onion. Mm, I, I'm a salt and vinegar kind of guy with my with my crisps. Or, of course, prawn cocktail if that's on, on the table. Worcestershire sauce, even if it's around. Come on, I want to get down to the bookies before they close. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me? Uh, oh, we need to pour the pint through an incredibly convoluted set of... Uh, other pipes. Alright, sure, why not? We've done worse. I guess, that, well, I can work backwards. That has to be there, which means that has to be there, and that has to be there. I guess everything needs to connect up. Wait, no, that can't be true, because you're going to have to connect up uh, to the up or to the left. You can't connect up, so you must connect left. Hmm... No, oh, that could conceivably work. Any gaps here? Looks pretty good. Oh, well, that was easy. Uh, thanks for the pint, I guess. What's he having? He's having a pint of Newton and Ridley's best sitter. Never heard of it. But I don't, uh, I really only drink liquor. There you go, Jack. Is that the actual cover art? It is indeed. Look at these monstrosities. Blueberry and rhubarb chews. What's wrong with sherbet dabs and midget gems? Ooh, midget gems. I haven't had those in ages. Time you went to... What the hell is that? Don't ruin the good name Rita for me. All these magazines need sorting. They'll still be here. Who still buys magazines? You know, if you're going... Oh, crikey. You could come by collecting things on this list. Ah, okay, great. Another another convoluted reason to go and grab some more hidden items. Put the kettle on, we could try some of those new biscuits. Now remember, in Britain, a biscuit is usually a sweet, crumbly thing. Like a bourbon's biscuit, or a digestive, or a rich tea. It's not the kind of thing you'd saw in half and put a burger patty inside. Okay, we are looking for another oriental fan. Jeng's there, they're loving those. Drum, typewriter, staple gun, biscuits, comb, apple, skull, maple leaf. Uh, breakfast cereal, binoculars, pestle mortar, beach ball, wine bottle, baseball cap. Well, there's the apple. Last time we saw that maple leaf, it was blended in like crazy. There's your drum. We don't need a globe this time, do we? Do we need a kettle? No. Beach ball? Toy car thing? Typewriter? 
Ooh, man, I, I miss these things. So you're getting your, getting your sweeties in the big plastic tub things by the weight. Um, yeah, a staple gun. I thought I, thought I was on the staple gun. Yeah, there. Okay, do we need an axe or a rolling pin? Toothbrush? No. Where's a pack of bickies when we need them? I actually like wee shops like this. We had one back in my old town, but it closed down years ago, as these shops tend to do. Binoculars. Any bickies back there? Any bickies up here? Yeah, where are those bickies? Yeah, what are we? Biscuits, comb, oriental fan. There's that accursed boat again. Biscuits, biscuits, biscuits. Little purse? No, no need for purse. Oh, crikey, there's another skull needed. This game couldn't have sold well in China. Hmm. Oh, here we go again. There's still plenty to get. Where are they hiding at? Especially that skull. Skull shouldn't be a hard thing to find. We saw it earlier. It was pretty large and obvious. There it is. There's the skull. Got anything else hidden behind that register? Like the biscuits? This game couldn't have sold well, period, Jake. We don't know that for sure. I don't need the parrot. I need pestle mortar breakfast cereal. Where are they hiding the I can't believe they couldn't fork out for the voice acting in this game. I'm disappointed. Oh! That was not what I was expecting with breakfast cereal, but I'll take it. Kind of looked like a very American style of cereal there. I was expecting some corn flakes or bran flakes or rice krispies. There's a baseball bat hidden around here somewhere. Probably not that. It's more the didgeridoo. There's also a pestle mortar kicking around. I think these kind of games would probably be very good for teaching. I just saw the Oriental fan. Man, how are you meant to see that? Only saw because I was looking in this vague direction. As far as the wine bottle. Mm. Just want to be sure there's nothing else hiding around down there. Yeah, not English enough. Where's our cricket bat? I remember way back in school, we'd play rounders a fair bit, and uh, somebody hit uh, hit the ball and then chucked the bat back, and it hit uh, hit a friend of mine in the leg, and he got carted off. That was him injured for a bit, and uh, we're quite young, so he's bawling his eyes out. It's very funny. And then uh, shortly after, played again. Again, the ball got hit, threw the bat back, and clocked him in the face. Oh, man. Still remember that. Still gives me the warm fuzzies. I'm not sure if I was responsible for either of those, but I'm sure he was fine. Builds character, that. Doesn't help me find my bickies, though. I thought remembering a nostalgic British memory would get me better at this nostalgic British game. Hmm. I looked directly at the fan, but I still couldn't make it out, says Loki. Right, what am I looking for? Bickies, a comb, a maple leaf. That freaking maple leaf again. It must be blended in. Uh, trying to look at obvious places where it might be blended. In between or on top of something. Like along here or in these wee dark bits. I mean, you can see an axe there and a rolling pin there, but a maple leaf... There's a musical note here, or maybe it's a hook. A maple leaf? Is it stuck in your hair or something? Or on your dress? Well, it's not really a dress, more of a, more of a suit or a jacket. Something on your vesty thing or in your forehead? Uh, hmm, maple leaf and baseball bat. Game for the colonies. 
Favourite biscuit, Jake? Oh, crikey, that's a tough one. I'm a real sucker for a hobnob. Mmm, love hobnobs. They're also quite nice for baking as well, because you can crush them up and make a hobnob base. If a recipe ever calls for a digestive base, I usually substitute it with a hobnob base, which I find to be slightly greasier, but overall better. Okay, this is all well and good. Where are those Canadians hiding? It's a wine bottle. I haven't seen anything remotely like a wine bottle around here. Unless you mean like the little... What? Okay, I thought it might be one of these Coca-Cola bottle things. Which I really liked having as a kid. But it it was. Okay. Baseball bat, pestle mortar, maple leaf. Pestle mortar. Mm, I mean, that's essentially just a bowl. Where are they going to hide that around here? I still can't see that accursed maple leaf. What is this thing? Heaven's knows. Okay, um, I've seen any biscuits around here either. I lived off hobnobs for a month in uni, says Rolling Ninja. Well, it can be quite cheap to get them, but they're not very filling. You eat one, and you're like, well, I need another now, and then the whole bag is gone. The little hobnob fairies came and took them away. Also, we apparently need these things for a charity get-together. Why do they want a wine bottle and some breakfast cereal? OMG, the baseball bat. Ha ha ha, says my girl. Well, I sure ain't seeing it. Maybe when I do see it, it'll all be a whoa moment. Nothing for me around there with all the toys, no? Hmm. Get done that didgeridoo like thing. No, that's a bowling ball, if that's what you're thinking about, the pestle mortar. What the heck was that? A comb? It didn't look like a comb. This game, can you imagine the old lady's interest in this series trying to find these camo items? They'd probably have good fun with it. They get frustrated, but a good kind of frustrated. Something that lets them complain about to the other village ladies. Can't believe I changed my screen resolution just for this. And I'm still going right up to the monitor. Trying to see anything here. Mm. Biscuits, maple leaf, pestle mortar, and baseball bat. How far could they be? And hiding up the back there, is there? Oh, goodness! I just noticed you. Oh, that was hard to see. Now, the bickies, the maple leaf, and the pestle mortar. And maple leaf bothers me. We saw how blended in it was in the previous level, and now could be anywhere. Could be hiding in plain sight. I'm hopeless at this, says Finn Boy. And you can't even give us a rich lore about Quality Street. Uh, Coronation Street. Sure, the 
it's something you're good at, but you've got it well hidden. Where are those? Yeah, those well hidden as these biscuits. Where are they? I'd be able to sniff out a bag of biscuits in two ticks, but this... This has me stumped. Alright, Finn boy, you're like 13 years old. You got your whole life ahead of you to become good at something. Anything. What are these biscuits at? It's not like an errant biscuit lying around here. I would expect a whole pack of biscuits. I have the maple leaf, but for the life of me, I can't see the other two, says a Rassarter. The maple, oh, and that maple leaf has also got me on the back pedal. Where the, Where the heavens is all the anything around here? Maple leaf, bickies, pestle, mortar. Anything along this point of wood? Well, at least this is a game we can all play together. The thing on the peanuts is a butterfly, not a maple leaf. The peanuts? The peanut. Well, you said it's not what we're after, so I guess it's neither here nor there. Come on, I've been all around right this place. Where's my blessed peanuts? Uh, not peanuts, uh, biscuits. And the pestle mortar. And the Canadian scum. I think we already checked back and forth along here and not seen any sign. Unless that's it wedged in the corner there. No? Hmm? Gotta remember though that the bat was right there in plain sight and I couldn't even tell. Could be a similar situation with this. My eyes are going to hurt so much by the end of all this. I'm still confused by how the wine bottle was here. That didn't seem right. Anything really small and weird looking? Well, there's a little pinch purse right there. A bag of biscuits right there. No. Ooh, Turkish delight. I love Turkish delight. Some people can't stand the taste of Parma violets, but Shame on them. Mm, I'm so glad I missed 40. 40? Oh god, we've been here for almost 45 minutes. Dangerous. Pestle, mortar, biscuits, and Canadian flag. Where? It's not hidden in her hair or something, is it? in his mouth. Hmm. What was there an explanation what Coronation Street is? A long running British TV thing. I don't know if you'd call it a drama or a soap or whatever. I've never seen it myself. Deary me. I'm perturbed by the fact that it's three things that I haven't got here. You know, if it's just one or two, but a whole three things that have managed to evade me on this map. I found the leaf. Oh damn, says Pack Sam. Mm. Oh, the spinning cursor. If I if I click on how many things? One, two, three, four, five. Five clicks, and I don't get anything. It spins it around. 
it's, I assume, to stop you just dragging your mouse around, clicking on everything. And it's a pretty neat system. Where the dickens is that leaf? Come on, we've got... What do we have? Almost 600 eyes trained on this thing. Yeah, at least call me Ishmael is admitting to not being able to find the leaf. I just noticed that butterfly right there. Shame that's not one of the things that I need. Also some bickies and a pestle mortar, and I'm not seeing any of these things. You wouldn't know, Dark Young. Maybe someday you will. Not only can't I find anything, I don't know what the hell a mortar is a pest. A pestle mortar is a cup with a stick. You put something into the cup and then you start mashing it with the pestle. Wait, which one's the coal and which one's the thing? Anyway. You usually use it to crush things up, like seeds. I think I found the bickies, says Flag Flare, or maybe I'm just stupid. Well, if that is the case, then the biscuits must not be obvious, but, oh, jeez, where are they hiding at? Nothing ridiculously small hiding in these cards. Are they cards, or CDs, or toys? Sometimes these weak cornery shops will sell really awful CDs of pop music, but I think selling selling CDs is out the out the window these days. I was in an HMV not too long ago. Just sold junk. Any Canadian would have their citizenship revoked for failing to find the maple. I'm not finding the maple, so I guess I should be proud of that. Don't diddly umped at finding it. Alright though, I'm not going to turn to the hint button. Hint button would be the death of me. Do we just go for the random clicks now? Because I am having a hard time now. What if I randomly click on the hint button? If we get to the last 10 minutes, can we do the hints? I need to know if there's a British hot... What a British hot... Well, we're going to beat this tonight no matter what. That is something we are committed to. It's locked in, sealed closed, frozen shut. And I'm not hitting that hint button. Hmm. I saw 130,000 viewers click this link thinking, can't be true, watch for 10 seconds, drop like a rock to 300, what the hell? It's just the amount of people who wish they were watching this compelling gameplay bulletin. Oh man, come on. Where the hell is it? Yeah, Pepper, I'm in the voice chat in case anybody knows about uh, Coronation Street and wants to tell us all about what we're looking at. And you know, if someone wants to tell me where the, where the freaking maple leaf is without risking getting themselves timed out, there's also that option. Just leaving all the doors open here. It's up to somebody to 
step right through. Where the heck is any of this stuff? Well, the thing is, how would the mods know? Well, you'd have to do a bit of an in and out. <laughs> or maybe switch your Discord name. I, I'm, uh, I can't believe I'm not finding these three things. They don't seem like they'd be that hard. Think, Jake, what do you hate more than Canadians? Ah. Uh, oh, um, that's a difficult question. I'd have to think long and hard about it. Multiple Canadians. I mean, even aside from that, I'm not seeing the, the biscuits or the pestle mortar. Whoever did the masking in the clickable areas cared about the job. <laughs> yeah, somebody put a fair bit of effort into this. Why the masking of it, though? I feel like I've clicked damn near everywhere on this side of the map. I wonder if it's something that I can't tell because, I don't know, my monitor is tilted at... Oh, right, the monitor brightness. Right, let's do something unbelievable and increase it. Uh, accidentally turned it off. That's not going to help with many things. Um... How does this work again? Contrast, brightness, brightness. Let's change it from two to, let's get crazy, 15. Ah, oh, that hurts a bit. Ooh, but the image is a lot clearer now. Uh, okay, but the, the whole point is if that doesn't work pretty quickly, that, is there something there? Looks like there's kind of something there, but evidently not one of the things that I need. Hmm. Yeah, I can feel the physical force of the brightness pressing against my skin here. Still, though, find the pestle mortar. I think, well, if you if you want to just gab a bit about where you think it is, would be helpful for old Jakey here. Try the pink star over the CDs. Yeah, I did click on that. Ah, what? I am certain I clicked on you earlier. Absolutely certain. I was clicking up all these things, going something about CDs or postcards or whatnot. Ah. Well, Test July, you might be a fan of gaming's nemesis, but you're my hero. Anyway, what else do I need? Pestle mortar and biscuits. Where are the biscuits? Mm. 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 And the pestle mortar. Might be a bit better if there was something of a sharper image here. It's very, uh, very blurry. There's not something hiding in one of these other ones, is there? I could have sworn I clicked on that thing. I, I was even looking straight at it and I sure didn't see a maple leaf. Okay, pestle, mortar, and a bag of biscuits. We don't know if it's a bag of biscuits. 
I'd suspect. I mean, I'd think that right there is a bag of biscuits, but no. Mm, can't you use NVIDIA DLSS for this? I don't think that thing was programmed with Coronation Street in mind. Jake, you clicked barely off one of the others too. Well, I've clicked in a lot of places. That's not going to narrow it down much for me. Mm. Bag of biscuits. I don't know what things I've done to fan of gaming to put this vendetta out, but there we go. Okay, what in the blue blazes? Pestle, mortar, and biscuits. Where? Where? Oh, where? It's a set of keys there, and that's some kind of hook or musical note. Just click every pixel. Can't have been working my way through that. Hold on, I just spotted it. There's the pestle mortar. God, that was like white on white back there. Maybe it's because I upped the brightness, because I know I've passed over this several times. Now, where's my bag of bickies? <coughs> bag of bickies, bag of bickies. I don't think anyone has found the biscuits yet, says fan of gaming. Well, I certainly haven't. Sadly, it's not the Turkish Delights. It's a newspaper. These are like push it pops. That looks like bubble blower things. Don't know what these are. Some kind of stickers. Some lighters. This is Dib Dab. I haven't had Dib Dab in forever. It's not very good, but I remember enjoying it as a child. I uh, don't know what those are. Poppers, maybe? Uh, that's the, the cola chews, where we somehow found a wine bottle. And those are, aren't those those rings you put on and then you lick them? Lick them rings, or I don't know what they're called. Why aren't there any prices? Because the prices are put on tiny little adhesives that are then stuck on the individual items or on the box that the item is in. Where's the scope of minigame? Well, we were told there were a bunch of minigames here, but we gotta find the bickies. <laughs> Anybody else want to take a daring sacrifice to the team and tell me where the heck these biscuits are? I mean, that kind of looks like biscuits back there, but no, that's a teddy bear on some kind of black uh, background. What is the long pink rectangle under the blue plush bear on the left? The bl the blue plush thing? That right there? I don't know. Just looks like... Maybe it's a fancy thing of pink wafers. Well, no, that would count as a biscuit, so no. Just looks like some kind of pink box thing. Maybe it's full of uh, thwomps or marshmallows of sorts. What's that thing behind the camera? You mean this? It looks like a box set of something. Or a bunch of uh, fancy chocolates. The maple leaf is where you haven't clicked yet, Jake. You're welcome for the hint. I already already clicked here for the for the maple leaf. Well, the only thing we're missing here are the biscuits. I'm not sure anybody knows what the biscuits are. Are we going to discover that this game has some kind of bug where certain items don't show up? Because I'm sure as sugar not seeing any bickies. Please explain what biscuits are in the Queen's English first. Uh, the difference between a cake and a biscuit is that cakes go hard, if you leave them out for a while, and biscuits go soft. Biscuits are sweet, crunchy, crumbly things that you buy and eat. Yeah, the hint button certainly knows where it is, but I will not be tempted. 
Oh goodness, who's taking it for the tip? Oh no. No, you're not allowed in here. <laughs> Le le left of the uh, the cash machine. Left of the cash Remember machine. Remember me. I wonder who that could have been. It says left of the cash machine, but uh, maybe he's one of these other people that don't know their lefts from their rights. Remember me. <laughs> okay, but really. <laughs> what? In what world was that it? Okay, onwards to the garage. You know, I overdid the ale last night. My head feels like it's been hit by a sledgehammer. Make a brew, will you? TY, thank you. No, tie for Tyrone. In a sec, have you seen the keys for the taxi? Keys have vanished. Here they are, Ty. Didn't you say something about a brew? Okay. Best give this taxi a once over. Where'd I leave my tools? Ah, oh, well, this seems easy. Oh, no, it's multiple of them. Five spanners. Four wrenches, four sparkies, and a bunch of clamps. Whoa, that's one big, uh, big wrench there. At least we don't need to find the squeezy braze because I think that's one of them there. Is that not a not a clamp? Oh no, that's that's I think a reflection. That would make a world of sense. All right, can we open this? No. Okay. Oh, we got all the clamps. Okay. Uh, sparks. Sparks. You mean spark plugs? Yeah, they do mean spark plugs, okay. It's weird, that was blended to hell and back. Oh, that tells me there's probably other blended things to grab. Woe is me, and this is dangerously frazzling my poor eyes. There's gonna be something hidden there, like you. Still a spanner left. I see a piñata. We all see the piñata. Sadly, the piñata is not what we need. That was red on red. Very cruel. Okay, three sparkies and a spanner. What is a spanner that a wrench isn't? Oh man, I hope we get out of here soon. The back the background sounds are agonizing. Things those sparks aren't uh, aren't looking so hot for me. Bound to be something here in this darkness, even if I can't see it. Every spanner is visible. Come on, Jake. Okay. Well, I just noticed the spark plug there. I call them sparks. I call them spark plugs. Maybe it's a Coronation Street thing. I think I see the maple leaf. <laughs> no, spare us the maple leaf. By the way, have we saved? Okay, right, I guess it auto saves. Hang on, did I just see something here? What? Yeah, I'm a bit missing in it. Yeah, I'm off it. Right, two spark plugs. Two sparky plugs. Hmm. 
Hmm, I feel like I found really hard ones to blend it in, but maybe there are really harder ones even more blended in. I was surprised how Dark Young saw those biscuits, though. They didn't even look like biscuits. Seems, it's weird, it seems like you clicked on one like five times now, says Mechanical. Well, got two to find, so apparently that wasn't it. Where's them spark plugs at? One of my motorbikes used to just chew its way through spark plugs, so very familiar with them, but they're usually not see-through in my garage. Well, not that I have a garage anymore. Kind of miss having one. Young used game facts. Wow, what a game fact. bugged here. I don't see any more sparkies. Unless I'm meant to keep hitting the pinata until it breaks open and shares spark plugs with me. I kind of like it when hidden object games do that. Where things are interactable, like I could click on this and it would open up the drawer or open up this uh, toolbox. But no, we're not having any of it. I'm in voice chat with Youngie, 100% used. Oh. I'll believe it. Oh right, someone's asking, is this not a spark plug? But no, apparently not. Kinda looks like it, but no. Two spot I did, they really went the extra mile in hiding things in this game. Uh, Dickens, is it? Why is there underwear in the dolly? Well, that's a stupid question. You keep an old rag, usually underwear, for cleaning things up. That way you don't have to use something that you care about. Never spent any time in a garage there, Goka. I'm sure I found one of the remaining spark plugs, but I have since lost it. Oh, I think I've lost it long ago. About one hour and nine minutes ago. <sighs> well, this is going to be a recurring question, but where the hell is it? In before it's shade matched onto the concrete wall. As per standard. I think the pinata is some kind of running uh, Coronation Street gag, if I had to guess. And it is a guess because I know nothing about Coronation Street and I'm deeply disappointed that no one's coming in to explain Coronation Street to me. There must be someone here that's familiar with the show. We need the deep lore. Who's this taxi driver? Who runs this pub? Who's the old bat that's lost the recipe? How do they all intermingle? I'm going to click on this reflection thing a lot because I feel like there's something hiding in it. I can show up and make up lore if it'll make me happy. I absolutely will not. Oh, my mother would never have watched this. Okay, nothing in the reflections there. What about on this strip here? Don't make me increase my monitor brightness again. It's not just one, there are two sparkies that I'm missing. 
Yeah, this did release in 2011. Which explains why it had windowed mode. I was pleasantly surprised to see that. But it had no variable um, resolution, so I had to increase my monitor resolution to counteract how tiny the screen... Where the hell is this spark plug? Is that a photo of a hand at the top? Evidently so. Maybe it's some kind of safety thing. Who needs this many spark plugs? That one there? No. Oh, there we go. That's one of them right there. Shaded to look like some kind of highlight on this boat motor. Still, one more to go. Where could it be? Any floor spec could be a spark. Nah. How about this spec? No, it's not it. <laughs> yeah, I tried to crack open a piñata, but it's sadly not holding the secrets of the final spark plug. I thought we were meant to be looking for a hot pot recipe, not a freaking spark plug. <sighs> oh, by the way, I just have to know. Wow, you monster! That could have been anybody jumping into voice chat. Now just because he sounded like he had the scuzziest accent around, he can't jump to these, uh... <laughs> He's been blocked from voice. <laughs> oh, that is good. Okay. This is, this is getting... The, the real meta game is how to get the hints here without incurring the wrath. Hmm. Hmm. Apparently Goka did a good hint somehow. But I'm not seeing anything from Goka here. Normally we use old t-shirts. Oh! <laughs> Crikey, that was, that was tough. Thanks, Pack Sam. Oh, crikey, now we've got to find a recipe. Oh, well, that was surprisingly easy. What would go nicely with a brew? A cake. Nip to Roy's fetches a couple. A couple of cakes? Jings. You know I can never get it to open for me. Mm hmm. Hmm? Oh, oh no. Right, what's this? Instructions for Tyrone. 2-4. 1-3. 3-3. 2 4 one 3 3 3 2 2 4, four. Wait, was that a puzzle? It had the answer written right there. Now give me the... Oh, I want the money. I want the money. Okay. Couple of Ethel's cakes. Mmm. <laughs> the passport needs to another game. Now at least to Bradford. Be with you in a minute. I'm on my own. To Come on, Roy, pick it up. I'll give you. A no, no, <laughs> crikey! This Tyrone loves to help people out. I just can't believe they cheaped out so much and couldn't do the voice acting for this. Granted, they could get anyone to come in and do these voices, and I'd be none the wiser. I prepared a checklist for myself. Can you find the items without a tick and cross them off? Now, bear in mind, these are all things needed in a bakery. Like a duck, a saucepan, a skull. <laughs> Freaking Christ. Okay, well, let's get ourselves some items, shall we? I'm just clicking on various items because there's too many things at the bottom for me to commit to memory. So I'm just clicking on anything that seems a bit obvious. Didn't we need these roses? 
We need a fish, a phone, a, another rose. Wait, we needed a rose, but also a load of roses? Hmm. Some keys, a globe. Hmm. Oh, jeez, what happened to this guy? He doesn't look very happy. Right, where's that skull hiding at? The skull's usually a bit obvious. Kind of got a marbly surface texture thing to it. Was that the skull? Oh, okay. I want that apple while I'm at it. And there's another bleeding oriental fan here. There it is, thankfully. There's my saucepan. One of the frustrating things is I'm just going bam, 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 finding all these items. You guys would be scratching your heads for minutes over these ones. And then when it comes down to the one that really throws me a wobbler, then, then I just look terrible. Well, not much winning in all of this. Come on, these things double as tin openers. Mm. There's our tin opener. So a hook, a milk bottle, boots and a book. The hook is one of the things that's previously just blended into the background. So sure about the book. Could be hundreds of books here. Also, there's another saucepan up there. I wonder if that would have worked for me. Gosh, I wonder where the book is. <laughs> it's quite funny. Right, milk bottle, boots, and hook. <laughs> I wonder where the book could be. <laughs> oh, right, grab the boots. A milk bottle, huh? Milk bottle and a hook. Must be a rolling pin. Which a milk bottle can double as. We've all been in that position where we've lost our rolling pin, so we use an empty bottle instead. Hook and a milk bottle. Hook and a milk bottle. The hook is probably blended. There's the milk bottle. What the hell is this game? Says Land a Rocks. Something pretty great. I mean, as painful as it is, I'm having a good time. Offering a full English. Why? Even in England, why do they do full English? Offer a full Scottish. It's the same thing. But you're putting in some black put. Oh, we have black pudding there. Well, you're putting in some haggis pudding, some tate scones. Nothing's taken away. Actually, I didn't know they put black pudding in a full English. Regardless, you should add a haggis pudding to it. Okay, think about this. There's a hook, it's almost certainly blended in. But where and how? Tomato in a breakfast is Harris. Oh, no, 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 you gotta have a nice bit of chopped, uh, sliced grilled tomato. Usually just a whole tomato chopped in half with the, the watery bit being grilled down upon. Baked beans have no place, in, what is with the sincere lack of taste in chat today? I bet it's the Colonials. Or even worse, those Continentals. Yay, still looking for that hook. Maybe it's not blended. Maybe it's that thing, which didn't look like a hook at all. Thank you, Tyrone. You've been very helpful. Now, I believe you wanted a couple of cakes on the house. Whoa! If it's on the house, I want a bit more than a couple of cakes. Grimshaw. I said I'd do the early shift. You'll have to get your own breakfast. Oh, come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Too rah hoorah. How Jason can burn beans and eggs is still a mystery. To oh, come on. Burning eggs isn't that difficult. Burning beans, on the other hand. I suppose if you're really awful, you could burn them to the, burn them to the pot. Fine trigger a man needs more than muesli to keep his energy levels up. <laughs> Crikey. 
Nothing wrong with my energy levels. Like, what is this dry dialogue? Is this really reflective of the show itself? It'd be nice if I could see some furniture when I'm home tonight. I've seen car boot sales look less cluttered. Okay, so we need to clean up the place. Again, convoluted reasons for going searching for objects. Someone said there are 24 of these, and we've done about four of them. In an hour 20. <laughs> Why is his hair outside the frame? Because <laughs> he's that packed full of muesli energy. Alright, what are we looking for? 15 weights. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, what? Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Um, where's the pinata? Also, why are the weights everywhere? Oh, there's a tiny little one there. And... There was another one just blended in somewhere. Or perhaps it's staring me right at the Zog. Hmm. Space invaders all over again, down to the last one. And it's the most troublesome. I don't think timed out people generate points from watching a uh, stream. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, we all see fan of gaming sitting there. Sad that all his weights are being taken away. What? I think that was weights, but sure, we'll take it. Dead in here today. But, but I can hear the sound of hair being dressed. Michelle's booked in at five. Tell you what, why don't you have a check what we're low on before we can make it. Okay, we'll get right on that. Oh, no, no. Don't make poor David do it. Dentist appointments, and I'm already low. <laughs> Dentists won't like that. No local anesthetic for you. Right. 15 bottles. What kind of bottles? These kinds? Or these kinds? Uh... What? Do we have very different ideas of what a bottle is? Yeah, specific kind of glass bottle it seems. Ooh, oh, it's quite the hidden one there. Quite the doozy. Oh, Jake, still seven to go. This doesn't bode well. Uh, well, that's a bottle, and that's a bottle. She looks so fed up of being there. I share your pain. 
largely off-screen bottle. Okay, any more of these very specific kinds of wee bottles? Oh, there was one right there. Don't worry, Rook, the blindness is contagious. Still, though, we're missing two of them. Two, huh? Must be devilishly blended in somewhere beyond comprehension. Quite a nice sound, that hair cutty thing, but it doesn't actually sound like hair's being cut. It sounds like someone's just opening and closing scissors. It's a reasonably common antique fan, but why is it following us? Also, where in the blue blazes? No, maybe there is a piñata here, boom boom, and we just can't see it. Because we're not good enough. Oh, there you are. There you go, Rook. Open your eyes and see that. Why pay for two props when you can reuse the same prop in multiple scenes? Just thinking on a budget. Hmm. Come on, if they're going to suffer for us, let's at least hear what they have to say. Leg of the cart in the back. You mean this? I thought we already got that one. Pretty sure we already did. Well, now I'm paranoid. Not only do you give a useless hint, you get smacked down for it. Oh, so Zenovan, if I make five misses. It spirals the mouse for me. It's to stop me from just going back and forth and clicking on everything so quickly. Is it hidden on her body somewhere? If I could be so lucky. Hmm. Mm hmm. One on the leg of the cart at the back. Unless you mean like this cart in the mirror, but no. Goodness, this is one cluttered uh, hairdresser. I wouldn't be comfortable getting my hair dressed around here. Oh, I definitely do have a mice cooking macro, but uh, this game would be having none of it. It would very swiftly just do the spiral for me. Okay, where, oh, where? I just realized they're meant to be mirrors, isn't it? <laughs> it's a hairdresser. You always sit in front of a mirror when you're getting your hair cut. Why does a hairdresser have a cheese grater? There's a cheese grater. Oh, maybe they get hungry on the job. Cheese is anti-food. I've never been hungry eating cheese and then gone, mmm, I'm full now. I wouldn't last long on that mission in Stronghold where your only food source is cheese. Mmm, Stronghold. Also, mmm, cheese. Okay. Where, where, oh, where? Hmm. 
Is the pinata in the right mirror? Behind the black wheelie thing. Oh yeah, oh no, no, that's, I think that's a bunch of magazines laid out. Because it's a, it's a reflection of this. So it'll be a reflection, oh yeah, it's going to be a reflection of that. Jinx, I'm um, having severe difficulty finding this last one. This looked a bit suspicious, but nope. Anything around here? Things my eyes are starting to singe here. I need to close my eyes for a bit. Uh, it's just gonna undo all that laser eye surgery. I'll be back in there in no time. Another round, please. And they say there's nothing left to scrape off. Okay, starting to do in my head. Been on this one last bottle for ages. Hey. If it helps, I'm not seeing it in here, says Nemi Blob. Yeah, me neither. Just click around with your eyes closed. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so soothing having my eyes closed. But then what if I accidentally click on the hint button? I'd never be able to forgive myself. It's not hidden in these towels, is it? Up at the top here. I don't think anybody's actually seeing it. Somebody could uh, find it and then pop into the Discord voice chat and put on their best Dark Young impression. Oh, did you guess Heldon's strategy? <laughs> I only have one suspicion. It's probably wrong, and it's not worth a timeout, says Landerox. I wonder if uh, Pizza went and, say, blocked access to voice chat for uh, for people. That would be very funny. Not sure. It's possible. Trade hints for Draken. I do like Draken. I was thinking about Draken recently, wasn't I? Oh yeah, I felt like there was a lack of Draken in my life, so I turned on uh, an old Draken speedrun by Dragon Dark. Something from years and years ago. Had that on while I was cooking. Okay, does anyone in chat even think they know where this bottle is? Because I have been scouring back and bloody forth and I haven't spotted diddly. Fishlips thinks he knows. Ooh. Pack Sam has a sneaking suspicion. Surely it's not a suspicion. Surely you're looking at it and it's there or not. And Fishlips has a lot of experience in these kinds of games. What? <laughs> that was a random click. That was definitely not where I thought a bottle was, and I still don't think it's where a bottle was. I'm going to have to check the VOD on that one. Alright, now we need that hot pot recipe. Is it this? No? Well, it's a scrap of paper. So, um... Yeah. 
Yeah, but sometimes there's a scrap of paper just blended in as well. Oh, dearie me. This could be even worse. Gotta hand it to the old Bint for writing her recipe on scraps of invisible paper. So it'll be in the girl's back pocket. That's why she's cleverly not having a reflection. Well, it's not where she would be either. Oh, cribbins. Is that even a piece of paper? Thank you, my darling. What is this? Part of Betty's recipe. Come on, free pints for everyone who finds them, you know. Might use it to claim a free gift in the pub. It's been downgraded to bags of peanuts, which are sometimes more pricey than the pints. Done the logic behind that. Head in the book again, they'll bury you with a book in your hand. You haven't seen my spare glasses, have you? What the? No, Deidre, nobody cares about your speckies. Can't even click through this, but I don't want to skip the rich dough. Oh, that's a lot. I'll just take a drink instead of reading any of that. Ah. And double check if uh, people are doing horrible things to the voice channel so that no one can come in. It still seems okay. Can't be sure for now, though. We need to find glasses, but just one of them. Oh, well the last one's always the hardest, isn't it? Just one pair of glasses. It's not in his head, is it? It appear to be. Are they lesser known invisible glasses? Yeah, we got the same ship again. And the cat and the toy robot. And another pint. A description on what kind of glasses we're looking for here. Cat is sitting on the glasses. Keep them warm at least. Real quintessentially British looking plate. Oh god. On. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was so good. appreciate no one is going to understand what's funny there unless they saw it themselves, but too bad, that was genius. Okay, right. One book, two books, three books, four books, five books, six books. No. 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 
No. What do you mean, no? Oh, there's still nine books in plain sight. Hmm. I can see it now, watching in full screen help, says Rook. Well, there's no it here, there are nine of them. Jeez, and I'm not seeing any of them. Right, books a million. There's one. There's another one. Wow, that's another one. Crivens, that one's well hidden. If you were an invis- Oh, he's holding a book, the cheeky bugger. Okay. There's another book. Did someone take the kettle off the heat? There we go, thanks for listening. Four more books. Buy my books. Wait, that was a book? I <laughs> didn't see a book there. Oh, they are pulling my leg here. What a quintessentially British living room slash dining room this is. Where's the telly, though? I swear to God, it looks like Jake just clicks on random spots and there was stuff there. That wasn't a goddamn book. <laughs> Maybe you need to increase your screen brightness there, Orlov. I did. And I can't wait to turn it back down because this is frazzling my poor eyes. Okay, three more books. If I were an invisible book, where would I be? Mm. I can't wait to be done with this level and not hear that screeching of the kettle. What? Okay, in some world that was a book. Is there a book hiding inside this plate? Two more books to be had. I see one of the remaining ones and it's pretty brutal, says fan of not hinting. That's a kettle, I thought it was Jake's brain. It's certainly steaming here. Very off about his proportions. Maybe he just wears some very strange trousers that are hiked up. Hmm. Sadly, this doesn't count as a book. Unless that's a book. No, no sadly not. Well, so far nothing's been quite as bad as those bags of biscuits. Maybe that bottle. The bottle's pretty horrible. What is that thing? I think I see one. I can almost read the title. Or isn't that a book? If you mean this thing, then no, this is not a book. If you mean something else, then I don't see it. There must be something embedded in here. Ooh, 
that's interesting. Pressing the buttons on the side of my mouse count. Oh, somebody posted a picture of the uh, the book that we'd already seen over here. I'm not seeing what you see though. Perhaps I just need to close my eyes, rub them really hard, and come back to this with renewed vigor. And instant regret for having claimed that we will finish this tonight, come hell or high water. Because my eyes are singeing. Mm. Arriving late, is the punishment worse than the one shot that caused it? Is pretty good. Is the rightmost thing in the cassette collection a book? We mean this. Assuming that's his cassette collection. Those are all cassettes, I believe. At this point, it might be faster. <laughs> Getting on the typewriter and finishing the two. No, we haven't been. We haven't been here for that long compared to finding the biscuits, pestle, mortar, and the Canadian flag. Yes, there's a shark. Well done, Nick's quality. Wait, now my blob got timed out. Where's the pinata? I think there is a piñata, unless that's it. Mm, yeah, the question is if this is better than five more hours of Breath of the Wild. I think it is. But remember, the, the five hours of Breath of the Wild would also be followed by another two hours of Punishment game. I think there is a book on the table in the house in the painting. I never even considered this house painting. Well, I don't think it's in the house in the painting. Can't stand the kettle noise, so no. Urkran is saying, are there not boats and uh, books on the nightstand counter? Apparently not. <sighs> Welcome back, kettle noise. You know, this is fulfilling all three of the criteria of a punishment game. It's punishing me, it's punishing chat, and it's really difficult. In a way, this is the perfect punishment game, and it was chosen by Sea Space Echo. What? Oh my days! Was that <sighs> shenanigans? Okay, there is one more book hiding around here. One more. Hmm. Hmm. It is hard to sit here and chat and know where it is, but not being able to say is a mod's act with impunity, says Tater Mod. Well, you can get creative. There's ways to tell me without uh, the mods knowing. You just need to use that thing between your ears. Ken looks shifty. He's probably hiding it in his shirt. He was holding a book earlier. He had a tiny little bit of a book poking out here. I wonder if that's a book in his trousers. No. I did that earlier, but you were oblivious. Earlier, you say? Mm. Good thing Tater Mod's got an easy to see name. If you were a book, where would you hide in plain sight, Jake? I'm not sure if that's particularly useful as hints go. 
I'd hide on a bookshelf. This guy doesn't seem to have much of a bookshelf, though. Well, he, he's got this, but it's void of books. Hmm. Okay. Somebody said there was a particularly evil looking book. I don't know if we've gotten it already. Oh god, no, not Swedish. That's not gonna help. Oh yeah, yeah, these games... Uh, you could just press tab to find the things you want. And the, the impossible quiz game, pressing tab, was a cheat. So much so that it would cause an instant loss if you tried to do it in uh, the impossible quiz 2. I believe the impossible quiz was a weekly one-shot or a two hours of hell long ago. Probably a two hours of hell. It was good fun. Incredibly difficult, though. Very, very punishing a game. One mistake and back you go. Okay, it's getting real bleeding hard to find this last book. And our mate Kev, or whoever he is, is not picking up the slack. People keep knocking on the doors. Go away. Have you checked in the kettle? Well, here's the kettle, but I think it's a different kettle that keeps boiling away in the background. But don't worry, we can all sit back and enjoy the noise of the kettle. You know, the kettle isn't noisy enough. Do I, do I have the ability to... Oh god, no. I wanted a louder kettle, I did not want to leave everything. Oh, thank god. Okay. Thought I'd lose everything. Right, um, I think the guy that suggested clicking on every pixel was onto something. Don't take out your failures on chat, Jake. What do you mean failures, plural? You know, I still feel like we need to hear that kettle a bit louder. The kettle will be made louder until this final book is found. What are you even looking for? I'm looking for a book. There's one book. We found 14 others, but there's still one more. No, the cat is not sitting on the book. We tried that. Is that kettle even actually getting louder? It doesn't sound louder. I can make it louder, though. There we go. The kettle will continue and only get louder. Thanks for the haiku there, Earl Von Boomer. Is that book? Yeah, I wonder if the kettle is music. We must know. Gotta be careful not to 
click on new game there. You can let me know if it's significantly louder kettle noises. Unless we miraculously find the book before we hear the kettle again. Thanks, kettle. I hope nobody's got animals in their home that are freaking out to this noise. Mm. Like, very simple. I just need to know where this book is, and then we can move along. <laughs> well, from down here, I can't hit many places right now, fan. Mm. At least that noise doesn't bother me. I have friends who have sound sensitivities who might be freaking out over a system. <laughs> I wonder if it's at a pitch where dogs are going to freak out. There's probably going to be a shadow of a book or some bollocks like that these games like to do. Yeah, I know, we've dealt with many shadows of things, but that doesn't mean I can see where it is. I have been searching for shadows. <laughs> I love this song track. I've got everything super max now, it doesn't get any louder. Okay, Fishy finally opened up game facts. <laughs> Can't be much water left in the kettle. I think it's going to have to be random clicking for a while because I do not have a Scooby. The silence. <laughs> the kettle is driving Harundi up the wall. Well, if you just find this book and help us out. Charlie Murphy is trying to say the top wallpaper looks nice. Well, it sure does, but it sure doesn't look like a book to me. What? No way. No way! Oh, come off it! Come off it! Oh. Come on, there, there's ways to stop him from doing that if you don't want the hints coming in. I think you can lock people to a name in Discord if you don't want them doing such a thing. That looks like the... No, oh, that's not it. Hot pot recipe and then we can change the music. Wherever it is. Freaking coming. Now, bands aren't very nice. He's being creative, you should be creative too. That's it, where the heck is this recipe at? Maybe it's blended in again as well. Hard time here. 
A dog leaving a brown present on a white sofa is being creative too. Uh, yeah, I tried the iron. It looked like the iron had the recipe on it, but it doesn't. I thought it would be in this little bit here, but no. This is something. Oh boy, I might actually remember where this part is. You're never going to find it, Drake. Well, that tells me it's in somewhere you'd never think to look. Or it's just incredibly well hidden. Uh, I'm thinking the latter. It's under the Master Sword. Mm. Whoa! Nice! Damn right, that was a good job. Now, can I come out of here? And... Let's bring it all back down, shall we? Never gonna find it. Come off it. Uh... Okay... Ah. No, not like that. Da -da 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 -da. There we go, go. You've got far too many books. I don't think 15 is really that many. Even I've got more than that. You're not wearing a tie, Dev. I once visited Granada Studios on a school trip. What I learned is never join a school trip decided by teachers who watch Coronation Street. This marks one quarter of the game done, says Fishlips. We've been at this for two... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, I don't have any grenade apples on standby. I do have some food on standby, though. Quarter of the way through, two hours and four deep. Oh dear. But don't worry, a lot of that was being hung up on a bottle and a pack of hobnobs, so... We might just get it sussed out yet. Breath of the Wild will have those hours of you one way or another. Right, okay, come on. We need things. Bread, ship, plier things, bottles of various... Ooh, Easter egg. Gloves, some kind of helmety thing. I am just clicking on things to try and... Uh make my way through the list so I have very few things that I have to still get at the end. Oh, we did get the fan of gaming. We don't take his ties, though. Do we need boxing gloves? Some Ritz crackers? Oh, I think that was a bottle of Ritz crackers, but they got rid of the Ritz to something something copyright. I'm not sure if copyright's the word, but... I mean, come on, that's clearly Andrex up there. Right. Uh, is that the mallet? That is the mallet. And suitcase. Uh, there's another wine bottle. Now, the wine bottle was a real piece of work before. That thing was massively scaled down and hidden with the cola bottles before. There's a light bulb kicking around somewhere. Are you a light bulb? No. Do we need an iron? No. Fourth thing. Oh, that pestle mortar again. Well, fortunately, it's in a similar place as last time. 
Staple gun, rubber stamp, light bulb. Staple gun, rubber stamp, light bulb. Is that a rubber stamp? No. Hmm. Well, there's a the staple gun. Light bulb, light bulb. Not a light bulb in a box, it seems. Light bulb and rubber stamp. It's not glasses that we need this time, or a pack of bickies. Oh, there's a light bulb. That was pretty well hidden, actually. So the only thing we need now is a rubber stamp. Rubber stamp's one of those things that's going to be a bit hard to know if you're looking at it. Rubber stamp. Rubber stamp. Wait, nothing so far has been baked into the uh, baked into the backgrounds here. Maybe this one is. I'm not seeing anything baked into the background. Hmm. Well, potentially lucky me for this one. Maybe they've given up on doing that kind of torture. Yeah, Proto's a Mac, I can't auto-click because if I miss five times, it spins my mouse around like this. During which I can't keep clicking. Alright. Rubber stamp, rubber stamp. Oh, my rubber stamp. What? It was hidden behind whatever that was? Okay, hot pot recipe. That was easy. All right, the daubs. Are you a daub, Tyrone? Seen the remote. Hope it's not falling down the sofa. Oh, it's just trite. Hey now, Zaleb. It's entirely possible that my skill level is just ramped right up. You ever think of that? Oh man, you guys let this amazing plot play out. I need some more water. Okay, what's going on here then? What pro oh, it's searching for that remote control. Hey, look who's back! It's the hissing kettle. Right, if I were a remote control... Oh, look at that. More stuff blended in. Right, if I were a remote control, where would I be? I feel like we have to find shoes after this. There are shoes everywhere. But first, where's the remote controller? This guy looks really sorry for himself. Yes, I think we can all see the pinata. Good job, no rules. Hmm. No wonder he can't find the remote controller. All some maniac glued it to the wall and set its opacity to 2%. Okay. Well, we found it. Now we needed trainers. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Why is it in the microwave? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh dear, two more, two more. Damn it, the kettle's back. Wait, that was there. Okay, one more. Trainers are sneakers in North. I don't think Coronation Street is North. Pretty sure that's a reflection of a, a trainer right there. Aha! I even saw that one when I was doing the first round. You know, in a way I'm grateful for these long breaks of meaningful dialogue between the characters. It gives me a moment to step away and grab a drink and such. Right, cotton reel, needle and thimbles. Well, there's one of our reels. There's a lot of really looking things up there. Probably a bit bigger than what we're looking for. Two... Is that one there? No, it's not. Is that one there? It's also not. Hmm. Well, that's one there for sure. Another cotton reel. He looks so unhappy to be there. Hmm. Wait, that was a thimble? Still focusing on the cotton reels here. Bit of a sweatshop they're running here. I'm hoping nothing is baked into the scenery, but I'm having a hard time finding anything here. There's loads of... Th wait, needles? There's some kind of needle in haystack joke. Forgive me for thinking there'd be no shortage of needles here. Is this inside one of the cloth factories in Victoria too? People have been banned for less lander rocks. Okay, what the heck? Where is anything that I'm looking for here? Oh, okay. We had to see through that to figure out, was that a thimble or a cotton reel? That was something all right. Maybe if I just click on here and say, oh, inside here is one of the things we're after for sure. It's a thimble, okay. I haven't found a single needle here. Hmm. Couldn't we just get out a magnet or something?
Yeah, ouch. Okay, this is getting tough. Where's the anything? We need all the help we can get. That's good, Flopsy Doodle. See that? That is good. A man clearly has one stuck in his arms. <laughs> oh, this game's driving me up the wall. Could have been done with it 17 minutes ago if I hadn't gone, Ooh, we're going to finish this game tonight. Sweet Jesus Crivens almighty. Is it baked into the floor or something? Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. They're certainly baked in then, okay. What else is baked in? I'm kind of moving my head around to get that different screen glare, which helps sometimes highlight these things. Not having much luck here, though. I bet you thought, psh, it's Cory as a game. How long can it possibly be? That's exactly what I thought. But Fishy, you've had a lot of experience with crappy hidden object games. How do you think this one looks compared to the rest? Ah, oh, we just had that joke, Panda. You can't, can't just uh, ride on someone else's coattails. I'm getting increasingly worried about the needles, of which we found zero. Looks like he's got some kind of plate in his forehead there. Scary looking fella. What? Pardon me, I did not see that. And that wasn't even a reel, that was a thimble. Maybe he really does have those needles up his arse. Took a bet to shove five of them down his pee hole and it is showing on his face. Right. Right, right, right. He's half clinging on. I'm barely clinging on myself here. Thimbles, a cotton reel, and all of the needles. It would help if I knew what the needles looked like. I mean, you'd think that's a needle. Maybe it's just the top of one of those coat hangers. Oh, okay. Didn't even see you there. That was just a fortunate click. Maybe we should be clicking on everything colourful because they're blending in way too well. Those corsets. <laughs> I hope those needles look like model cars, because we got one of those. Right, come on now. Hold on, is that something there? No, it must just be a crease on the box or some such. Okay. I'm glad the cotton reels are done, but I didn't even notice that. I didn't even mean to click there, I was just panning up and hit it. 
What's Urkran up to? Looking for needles around the fire exit, or is more or less a haste? Is that it? Whoa! Okay, well at least now we know what we're looking for. Significantly larger than imagined. A needle on the ground? No. Surely it's not a big deal to drop five needles in a place that probably has buckets of needles. Hmm. And there's still a missing thimble here. Oh boy! I hope to hear the best Scottish accent ever. Alright, Jake, it's me, Doug Young. Oh, hello, my fellow countryman. Expert on needles. Listen up before the mods get me. By the fire exit, to the right. On the pole. Wow. Thank you, Dark Young. I never could have done that without you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Some needles. <laughs> I feel like I'm going loopy here. <laughs> How can a man so close to Scotland have such an awful Scottish accent? Oh. Okay. Still lacking a thimble, though, and heavens only knows where it is. I saw that up there, but not seeing it. Well, not seeing it now. Aether thinks that there's a uh, top of the clothes rack up top. Well, I'm looking at it, but it doesn't seem very needle-like, does it? No luck. There's no forklifts in the scene, Young would have been no good. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. mighty clever. Mighty baked in. Okay, there we go. How could a needle be the size of a pink dress? I oh, 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 that looks like a needle. Oh yeah, okay, one needle, one thimble to go. We're on a roll here. Mm. Mm. Oh, there we go. Just a thimble. And thimbles aren't particularly exciting in there shape and unknown in size, so they're not easy to find. Come on, Pandy, that's the third time we've heard that and the second time from you. Uh, poor Quintuple, apparently watching without audio. Is that true? I mean, earlier it was saying there were people that were watching without video. I couldn't wrap my head around it. For one, why tell me? Well, the guy is certainly looking at the thing that says thimble here. going from funny to sad here. I, Parappa actually can't see anything. 
Oh, what a weird stream to watch with no vision, though. You just hear the suffering. No context as to why it's so painful. Alright, this last thimble has got me scuppered. I don't even really know what I'm looking for. I miss the kettle. <laughs> is Jake having fun or why is this still going? Uh, at the start I said I'm going to finish this this evening no matter what. Should have thought that one through a little better, but it's okay. Making mistakes is what life's all about. Okay, where the dickens is this final thimble? Are you a final thimble? No. Mm, the thimble looks like a cup, but it is for your finger. Yeah, I know what a thimble is. I just don't think that's a very remarkable shape to find here. It would be like, oh, find a potato, but it's just going to be the outline of one set at 2% opacity. And potatoes come in all shapes and sizes anyway. Probably protection, if I had to guess. Then again, I don't think I could fit pro here, could you? Probably telling us to wear our thim. I was pretty sure that was just a bottle, not a thimble there, but okay. Now, where is the hot pot recipe? Could be damn near anywhere. Well, the one thing we do know is they tend to be white. Shame it's not inside the race car as well. It's gonna be inside the guy's shirt, money back, guarantee. I want my money back. Probably inside his forehead. See, so he had that forehead opened up and he had the recipe shoved in there. This isn't so simple. Where's my recipe hiding? Or where's that torn shred of recipe hiding? I don't know, of course it's going to be like a 2% opacity shadow or so. What? <laughs> well, that was a lucky click. Okay, I'll take it though. Take it and run. These cheeky buggers at. We'll have a car we didn't. Oh, they're the taxi people, aren't they? Oh, it's quintessentially British acronymous. Is there any Austrian television culture? Couldn't imagine there is. The last time Austria exported its culture, a lot of people died. Yeah, listening to Mozart wasn't good for a lot of people. Right, we need a bunch of business cards. Where are they? What do they look like? Mm. Yeah, what do they look like? Hey, the kettle is back! The singing kettle! Okay, you look like a business card. This doesn't remind. This isn't too far off of that uh, 
the rooms we saw in that awful Nancy Drew game, the trail of the twister. The fish lip special. <laughs> oh man. I should rewatch that actually. It was just so bad. It was brilliant. Okay, that's only two out of fifteen. There's gotta be a lot more that I'm totally not seeing right now. Come on, there must be obvious like that one. A lot of them awfully cut off the screen here, that's not very nice. Everyone having cups of bloody tea. It can be difficult not being a tea drinker in uh, in Britain. You come in and, oh, you want, what kind of tea do you want? I don't want it. Oh, you want some chai? No, you want some Earl Grey? I don't want any tea. You have some coffee then? No, thanks. I'll pour you some juice. No, thank you. Just some water, please. Gamer fuel addiction not working in my favour quite often. Okay, in what world was that a card? I think the difficulty is ramping back up. Almost all of these have just been 2% opacity baked into wall cards. As a not beer drinker in Bavaria, I understand. Yeah, I must be sore. Imagine getting tap water in London and getting some recycled pool. Oh, crunchy tap water from London. No, thank you. Okay, this is getting a little tricky. And apparently there's still eight more of the buggers hiding here. There was one. I should have taken a closer look at its pattern there so I could have... Uh, committed it to memory, but it looks like it has some kind of S or 5 in the middle. Yeah, but Marvin, it, it, it goes round in circles like this. The auto hotkey would have to know to reposition itself at certain places, so it goes round and round and round and whoop, ends up here. I suppose that could work though. You could you could make the uh, you can make it go to a certain place on the screen, coordinate style. Probably get the game done faster than I can with that. Hmm. Well, I can't believe there are seven more to find, and I am struggling this hard. Right, that's one there. So it's got kind of a five and a black strip down it, so that's what I'm looking for. No, I think the game is 800 by 600, Marvin. The game's not that old, it's only 11 years old. Okay, that was pretty diabolical. Okay, that was also quite diabolical. I'm not finding cards here, I'm just finding very transparent patterns. The quintessential Austrian TV series is Ein Echter Wiener Gecht Nicht Unter. I won't claim to know what that means. Why does that have Wiener in the name? This game came out the same year as Skyrim. <laughs> I think I might genuinely prefer playing this over Skyrim. Skyrim wasn't very good. A real Viennese never sinks. Why not? Why are they so uptight? Okay, come on, activate eyes. 
brain is optional. Why do they have a tire sitting around their room here? Oh, I just spotted you. Oh, that one's nasty. Right. Again, it's that pattern I'm looking for more than anything else. Not really looking for cards at all. I feel like one of them's going to be baked into this window somewhere. No, I guess I already got one or two that was baked into there. Alright, three more cards. Come on, folks. If we pool all of our brains and eyes together, then we'll have 331 brains and up to 662 eyes. But that's not a given. There might be somebody out there who is uh, down to one eye or no eyes. There must be a kettle somewhere in Skyrim. Poor Dark Young's been trying to pull his brain. <laughs> okay. Come on. It's got to be hiding here somewhere. Why did I block in the telly with the sugar and the tea? It's no good. Oh, come on! That, that is not okay. That is significantly not okay. How many pixels of detail was that even? Chat, do you see any? I'm doing all the bloody work here. And again, claims to have seen one, but I've seen his seeing abilities in Trail of the Twister. I'm trying my best here, says Parappa. Could you try any better than that? Asking for a friend. I see three of them, says Lander Rocks, which is interesting, because there are only two left. Trail of the Twister was Fish Lips, you weenie. Oh, yeah, I was just looking at the sword. Yeah, Fish Lips was Trail of the Twister. Fan of Gaming was the Greek one. What was it called again? Um, it had Thanos in it. Uh, I can't remember what your one was called, actually. Labyrinth of Lies. Labyrinth of Lies. It was a good one. It God only knows what this last one is baked into. No, it's not the last one, the last two. God only knows what these last two are baked into. Nancy Drew in the case of the mystic. I think you call it the filing cabinet of the missing password. I was looking through my VOD and saw this. Yeah, I pulled the other one. The wall behind the TV discolored. I'm not sure. Not, not able to find anything on this. I will not have my character attack this way, says fan. Fan of Gaming did do the uh, the reviews of all the Nancy Drews with me, which is good fun. It's good to get someone that wasn't British on it. But also good to get three people who were. Goodness. few that have been on the edge of the screen so far. Maybe they're not going to pull that trick again. Two more, huh? Okay. Jake, be sure to buy a good chair for all those long gaming sessions. I thought I had. What's this chair? Anna Ros... 
and a rosy. It seemed good when I was sitting on it in the store, but I got it back. And I don't think it has the longevity that I look for. I need to get a mesh chair. The kind that security guards use. Because, man, those things are built for comfort and gigantic asses. I had a mesh chair that was so good, it was so comfortable, it was like sleeping in a hammock. Unfortunately, I can't find it anymore. Young is saying he really likes the kettle sound and wants it to continue. I don't worry, we can we can crank it up. We can crank it way up. Did we decide that the kettle was music? I think the kettle was music. Don't worry, we'll help out videos here. Now, somewhere around here, there's another one of these. Well, there's two of them. Two of these accursed business cards. It's better and better every time you hear it. But don't worry, we can stop hearing it as soon as we find two more of these business cards. Oh, I don't mind the sound, Marvin. I got my headset on as usual. I used to take my headset off when playing Kamidori and Amiyui. There's only so much sound of like, punch meat and slurping that one can handle. There we go again. Is it in the fan? Is it in the fan of gaming? No, no it's not. Mm. Holy moly, this one's, this one's pulling a bag of biscuits on me. Where is it? Oh, oh, holy moly! Look at that! That was savage. On the left side here, it looks like a tiny face. Please stop the kettle. Looks like a tiny face. Yuntek giving you the hint and talking about your actual chair was fun. Well, I do believe that some of the things worth spending money on are the things that come between you and the floor. So get yourself a good chair, a good pair of shoes, and a good bed. On the left side here, it looks like a tiny face. Please stop the head. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything that looks like a face on the left side there. Well, I mean, this thing has a face, but... Well, one thing is, a lot of people in this community don't know their left and their right, so it's over here. If you have trouble with your left and right, let me teach you a little trick. Put both your hands out in front of you, and pull down all of your fingers, except for your pointer finger and your thumb. The one that makes an L is your left hand. That is the left. Can't hear you over the kettle. <laughs> Too bad. Now you'll never know the trick for learning your left from your right. Gonna have to be random clicking, because I got no clue where this thing is now. There is a card here, Kettle Echoes through <laughs> Young's <laughs> mic. Don't <laughs> stop the kettle. <laughs> uh, 
Do you have a trick for east and west? Because I always mess those ones up. Yeah, the cardinal directions are never eat shredded wheat. North, east, south, west, going around clockwise. I learned that once when I was a small kid and never forgot again. Some people learn it as news, which is just not right. It's never eat shredded wheat. I regress to this. When both my ears start to bleed, Jake is too quiet. It's alright, we all get to enjoy the- Ah, oh, there we go, there we go again. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. It gets better, not worse. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Devilish. Utterly devilish. Okay, can I go back to the menu here? There we go. Bring it all the way back down to manageable level. Alright, we get to play an actual video game now. This is Arkanoid, or Breakout, or whatever you want to call it. A very, very easy version of it. I kind of want to see what happens when you miss. Did that start us all over from the start? It must have, because it went around the back before. It's something the developers just made after they were sick of not really making much of a game. Hey, those are all the street card things that we picked up. They seem to have regained their opacity. Well, this is terrible. What's your favourite breakout clone? Mine has to be Arkanoid Do It Again for the Super Nintendo. I can't remember if I ever streamed it before, but... I thought it was really neat. Oh yeah, of course Shatter! How could I forget Shatter? Okay, Shatter is easily my favourite then. It was a good game made great by its amazing music. Still manage to miss. I wonder if you can hit it just the right angle where it stays going left to right forever. What does Shatter have that this clone doesn't? Great music, we've got that solid mechanics, we've got that obnoxious tea kettles. Big check there, too. Alright. God, I could well go for a trip down to the butchers. As long as it's a good butchers. Sausage. Everybody knows what it means. Everybody loves them, apart from veggies. Even then, they sneak the odd one, but nobody where knows where the word comes from. That can't be true, can it?
Then there's chipolata. Never mind chipolatas. If you're that interested in sausages, you can put them back where they belong. This, this guy definitely nicks things on the sly. Okay, find all the sausages. If I must. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Finds we have a game of teacher used to play with me. Find the sausage. Number six. Number seven. It's not number eight. He looks awfully happy to be there. Oh, right, they are blended in. Uh, there's the lesser known transparent sausage right there. Okay, God knows where else the baked in sausages are going to be. Uh, it's a big upright one. Alright, where else is he hiding his sausage? I wonder if he sells a lot of pig heads. Don't picture Manchester as a place with a lot of toys. <laughs> That's that's good. Right. Come now. Are you sure there's not a sausage hiding there. Oh, just spotted one thanks to the circular mouse bit there. Tiny little sausage back there. Five more sausages hiding around here. Selling teddy bears there. Mm, sausage, sausage, sausage. Oh, he's got a sausage for an arm. Cheeky bugger. Right. Mm. Is that a sausage? No, it must be an honest to god reflection. Don't see a lot of those here. You think it's a reflection, but no, it's a taxi card or a book or something else. Four more sausages with my name on them. Where are they at? The bottom leg on the top piece of chicken. When you say top piece, you mean this? Because... I don't, I don't think so, unless you see some other chicken. Oh, is that a sausage? Oh, they're counting the sausage on the tin there? Oh, I guess it wasn't part of it. Okay, three more sausages. That is some very unappealing meat he has there. Is there a sausage in the pig for some kind of... Yeah, there's a sausage coming out of his ear. Oh, that's relatively disgusting. I mean... Oh, sausage in your ear as well. Oh, is it with the sausages in the ears? There's a sausage coming out of your butt there. No, it just kind of looked like it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, just noticed. Sausage underline, uh, underlining proud. Oh, nice. Good, didn't have to spend any longer in the butcher than we had to. It was a very unappealing looking butcher. Oh, not Tyrone again. I didn't have any paper, so I wrote it on a beer mat so I wouldn't lose it. How did that work out? Oh, now i got to find all the beer mats. All this cloaking technology is wasted on sausages and books. And maybe beer mats. Right. One. Two. Th three. Four. Is 
I've been hiding around here. Are they taking the mick with these square tiles in the back here? Uh, five, six. Oh, come on, that was the reflection. The skull, maybe? Oh, this ain't going well. There are still nine of them to go. It must be pretty well hidden. And there were eight, seven, six. Oh, come on, how was that it? Okay, any more for any? I, I didn't even see that there. I was trying to click on the typewriter. Four more to go, three more to go. What if for every misclick they would hide an additional object? Well, if they if they hid one of the ones that I'd already clicked on, that would be kind of funny and cruel. Maybe every five misclicks. Oh, just noticed one thanks to it going around there. What? The whole the whole lampshade was a beer mat. This this game is having me on now. I feel like one of those squares is going to be it. Wrath and Ruins getting excited. All this effort I'm going through and they have managed to find one whole beer mat. You're a real champion. Alright. Come on, where, where are you hiding that beer mat? Uh, this game is not on Steam barcode, or if it is, I couldn't find it. I also did not look. Why is there not a beer mat stuck on the, uh, the cork board? That's exactly where I put one. This is not a game made for people that use Steam. Got that right. Somebody is saying there's still one in plain sight, which I find hard to believe, but I want to believe it, because that would be nice. Check off the penultimate one rather easily. What's this boat following us? Why is this skull following us? Baked into this wallpaper somehow. Mm. Goodness, I could be fast asleep by now if I hadn't decided I would finish this tonight. I was a quarter of the way through the game an hour ago. Ooh. I wonder if that was uh, considered in plain sight. That was uh, that was just random clicking about. I did not think there was anything there. It's actually a good good thing that it does with the whole flickering around because often with these kind of games it just descends into auto clicker exe, which isn't the name of my program. My program is called Fast Clicker. And it's very good. It looks too gormless. I bet it's stuck in him somewhere. I have one more hour before the night shift, so I wish not for a fast end. Before the night shift starts or it's over? Well, you're in this time zone, I think, so it's probably about to start. Well, I don't think this is going to be over anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Come on, nobody with some uh, pretty creative clues? 
Nobody popping into the chat just to uh, have their name changed. I need to make sure that it hasn't been blocked by mods again. No, no, everyone's got permission to be in there, or at least the permissions are synced with uh, with usual. Mm. Try under the pint of beer. I don't think there is a pint of beer. Don't worry, Jake. So far, the only item I've found before you is the book the guy was holding. Gonna take the risk. The round thing in front of the bar. Get the round thing. I'm pretty sure that's perfume. The round thing in front of him. No. Despawn is asking for an explanation of the game. It's a hidden object game based on the long-running British soap called Coronation Street. You are given some very tedious reasoning to go to each room and try and find a bunch of things. In this case, I needed to find 15 beer mats. Unfortunately, this game isn't taking any prisoners. It... Whoa! I thought I'd clicked on that before. It is putting massive transparency layers and things I have to find and then blending them into the background, making it rather difficult to find some of them. Hot pot recipe could be any of these weird things. Uh, it could be you. Could be in you somewhere. Could be up there or here or also up there. The hot pot recipes can be a bit of a piss take at times. Could be the skull for all... You see? See? Look at that. That was obviously the, the recipe stuck onto that. I got it. It's all smudged. Is that a six or an eight? Prove your handwriting, mate. Yeah, I haven't got time to figure it out. I got to find someone else's, like, 15 missing keyboard keys. And none of them are on the keyboard. Oh, are we going to find a piano? At least that should be easiest find. Except it's the world's smallest piano. 2% transparency. No, 2% opacity. And uh, it's on a piano themed wallpaper. Oh, okay. Good job. We're not even going to play the whole thing? Oh boy, we're back to here. Okay, Eddie sprained his wrist. On the world's dark champion. Is that really a response to, yeah, someone's not coming in because they're injured? Not that I was ever tempted to watch Coronation Street, but at any chance it's pretty much dead in the water after this experience. Still probably more fun than Skyrim and, uh... Maybe it's not more fun than Breath of the Wild, though. Breath of the Wild parkour was pretty cool. This doesn't have something that's pretty cool like that. Except torturing people with the kettle. Oh yeah, he does look like Mr. Damage Control Style and Aggression, doesn't he? Maybe it's the same guy, and I wouldn't know. It literally is Craig Charles. Who was the guy from the Crystal Maze, though? The guy with the very boxy... Oh, you cheeky bugger! Okay, right. I need to find his eyes. No, that's keys. Uh, and a donut. And a tiny little... Those look like little bits of toast, but okay, there were biscuits. Do we want an axe and a brush and a dartboard? Do we want a cat?
I'm just clicking on random things to thin out the list because I hate looking back and forth on the list for these. You want this, you want that, this, or that. Or the doll. Wow, there's a lot of things he doesn't want. Okay, a rag, a toy car, a hammer. What was that? The hammer is actually an insensible thing. Oh no, not a book. But this book doesn't count. Does this book count? No. He wants a specific book. How about this book? There's your croissant while we're at it. Now we've got it down to a manageable bunch of things. So he wants gloves, rag, and a toy car. Now, the toy car's been everywhere, now we finally need it, I can't find it. Well, there's a car up there, I don't know about it being a toy car. No, they probably specifically want that toy car, what was that? Okay, gloves. So, a rag and a toy car. Now, just the toy car. It almost certainly blended in somewhere. Almost certainly, doesn't mean certainly. It could still be hanging around, waiting for me to find it. Just wait, there it is. Bet most of you didn't see that one. Jake, take your time. Surely you want Craig Charles to smirk at you a bit longer. Only if he's only only if he's about to describe uh, Matilda and Sir Kill a lot to me. What was your favourite Robot Wars robot that isn't from the pit? I quite like Razor personally, although Gemini was kind of cool. Razor just had one simple thing: a big crushing razor. But uh, Gemini split into two robots. There was also Hypno Disc, which was nothing but a fast spinning disc. I'll oh, see there we fish lips are saying hypno disc. Uh, what's this? Place an ad, weather field, gazette, da 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 I don't know what they're talking about. It's unimportant. Why do they not have the voice actors for this? Who are all the house robots? So was so Sir Kill a lot of Matilda. I feel like it's something like Ravage or Rampage or Savage or something like that. It's a shame when they switched out Matilda's up and down moving chainsaw tail for circular blade. It's when Robot Wars started going down the drain, I'm telling you. Sergeant Bash. There we go, cheers. Oh yeah, there was Shunt, of course. Right, what do we need? A, a chair, guitar, a pair of pliers, purse? A tin of asparagus. Toy car, gloves. Do we want the piñata yet? A duck. The boat. Oh, we finally want the boat. A fan of gaming. Uh, what was that even? Several different kinds of torches. We want those keys. Do we have anything from here? There, there's the hook. Wanted the dartboard. Mm, do we want whatever that is? A comb? Okay. Now it's manageable. Skull Weatherfield Gazette. Where's the gazette going to be? Maybe it's baked into something. I'm not looking, seeing something that looks like a, a rag. Right. Paper bag, tin opener, and skull. Paper bag, tin opener, skull. Is that the skull? That is the skull. Hey, the kettle's back! Oh, my days! I knew I was going mad without that. Right. In the first series, there was another house robot, which wasn't a robot. It was a JCB mini digger jobber with spikes, so the bucket could have been... and stuff. 
glued over the cab. I think I recall that. Been a long, long time since I've seen Robot Wars, though. I had a collection of it on VHS. It came in a cool steel tin thing. Kept the steel tin and stored my valuables in it like a limited edition one pound note, which I've long since lost. My childhood brain assured me that it would be worth loads of money in the future. Okay, paper bag, tin opener, and gazette. Why am I having such difficulty finding these simple items? A gazette is a really crappy local paper. Oh, well, there was a paper bag. Didn't even notice it there, but there you go. So, tin opener and gazette. Tin opener and gazette. Can't have your tinner without a way to open it. Oh yeah, I remember the seesaw round. Are you hiding it on you? You're hiding a pear on you, I can tell that. Gosh darn. Um... Oh, that was a tin opener. Handy. Okay, all we need is the gazette. The gazette. Oh, my goodness. Anyone's guess where that's hiding? Yeah, the Gazette is likely invisible, so I'm scouring around for where it could be. Not even thinking about what I think, where I think it is, I'm just looking for where it could be. Slithering into the background with its high transparency. Oh, hang on, I think I saw it there. Oh, no. Please stop hoovering, it's past watershed hours. Oh yeah, dead metal. Robot Wars is so cool. Did they have an American equivalent? I imagine all their robots would just have guns straight up on them. Not even messing around. Where could it be? Oh yeah, sharing links in this chat is A-OK. -okay. Unless they're stupid, then you pay the stupid tax. Picture it in your mind, Jake, and it will appear. Well, the only gazette that I used to read was the Orange Peel Gazette every time I was in Florida. Try and find as many Orange Peel Gazettes as I could because they were incredibly humorous. Maybe you can get that stuff online now, but they were good fun to find and read. Gazette, Gazette, Gazette. I mean, there's some kind of cardboard box here, I can see that. Maybe that little slip on it is the recipe bit if we're still looking for those. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Right, that 
was not the uh, the scrap of. Oh, that is. I mean, how was that even the scrap? That was just the white part of a pillow. What are you doing to poor Dark Young? What do you do to deserve this? Gonna bake a cake for Amy's party, run out of time, can't do it with the lunchtime rush. Oh, are you the guy that runs the cake shop with the Eccles things? How much this game is left as FGs? We're about halfway through it, and we're 3 hours 17 in. I'd never take advantage of a mate. You know that. Oh, wouldn't trust anyone that calls me mate. Okay, I need eggs, cutters, flowers, and butters. Eggs, cutters, flowers, and butters. Egg, oh, transparent butter. What the heck is even that? Eggs, cutters, flowers, and butters. Okay, eggs are gone. It's cutter, well, cutters, flowers, and butters. Apparently that was a cutter. Okay, one bit of flour and one bit of butter. One bit of butter. God, what manner of transparent butter is it this time? Are we in rice for two quid seventy five? The full English for two ninety five. That's the most unbelievable thing in this game so far. Nice field for the butter. Tomato bread for fifty five p. Is he leaving his butter at? I've never been a big fan of mushy peas. I'd rather just have my peas non-mushy. Got some butter hiding in these nasty old precariously placed cups, are there? No, oh, what about right below it? Nope. That is actually just a reflection. I am having severe difficulty finding this last stick of butter. Are you sure you can't just make do without Roy? Roy or Ray or whoever, he, I still think he looks like the stepdad from Shaun of the Dead. And those are the fakest looking pastries. Savage stuff. Well, you see, Brooks more creating a big hot tray of lasagna is quite cheap. Probably worth it for the occasional person that comes in going, I just give some lasagna. And then you give them that slab of lukewarm lasagna to take away in a little polystyrene box. Ooh. Not, uh, not my first choice. Okay, where the heckle is this butter? Oh, folks, surely you can see this last slab of butter. I'll pull Jakey out here. What's below the chicken casserole? I can only make out baked pot. Oh, baked potato. Various fillings, I think it says. Because that's something that would normally say on uh, on baked potato sign.
No, sadly the butter is not inside this awful looking ketchup bottle. No, that's not an obviously fake number. I don't know which area 0161 is, but it's not immediately fake looking. <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier. Uh, what's that? Philo, Philo Gusopin, 47 US. I was thinking about that earlier, how you might come here for some EU or some Frostpunk or some Caesar 3. And then you come and you find this, and you realise it's been going on for hours, and will continue on for hours yet. Must seem a little surreal, but no, this is a punishment game for failing to beat the weekly one-shot. And we are just trying desperately to find some butter. Trying, and I'm sad to say failing. Come on, surely, surely somebody... Somebody can tell where this butter is. It's not lodged in his arm or something, is it? No. Has he dribbled it down his chest? He kind of looks like he has, but no. I thought punishment games were two hours normally, but I got cocksure and said I would beat this no matter what today. Already regretting it, because my eyes hurt and I'm really tired. I, I thought there might be butter in the pastry, but uh, I, I already checked the pastries and... Sadly, they're not helping me out. Mm. No, it's not butter in his hand. What are the shiny things under the glass even supposed to be? You mean these? These are pastries. This is a napkin holder. That's a big old tub of um, tomato sauce. That's a charity collection thing. This is the till. This is a book. And these are the cups that may once had tea in them. I think we might get in the right page together if you find that last... Well, if you're talking about the page in this book, I'm sad to say it's not happening. It's just saying it's right of the book. Is this butter? Doesn't appear to be under the bear either. Resty says, Oh god, I see it. It's amazing. Come on, Resty, you gotta help your old pal Jake out here. Suffering with no butter. All the eggs, cutters, and flour he could need, but nay, butter. I'm not sure if you can just buy lard in a shop here in Sweden. They don't seem like the kind of places that would know what to do with that. Is this butter? Yeah, I don't even have a kettle to help me squeeze it out of the audience here. I would never compromise the integrity of a punishment game. <laughs> no. Of all the time for chat to find integrity. Uh, hell is this butter? I, I don't. I've come close to seeing. I don't even see where it could be. Although we have had butter baked into the background before here, but I, I swear I've combed over all the background and not found it. No, I I checked the reflection on the countertop. Unless you mean this countertop. Pretty sure we already tried that though. Yeah, not happening, hold your fire. Unfortunately the mods did not hold their fire for you. Oh no no no, we're not we're not clicking this hint button. No way, no how. Wait, I've got an idea though. What if I close my eyes and click the hint button? Yeah. No, no, no. People would never believe that I'm closing my eyes. I was going to do it so that the chat would know where it is and they wouldn't be able to help themselves. Oh, 
Well, I'm a little bit desperate. I've been searching all over here for a slab of butter and it's not showing up. Nothing even looks like it could be the butter. But Resty knows where it is. And they're not helping a poor fellow out here. Excuse me? I didn't even see that one there. Okay, where's the hot pot recipe? Could be anywhere. Could be one of these little bits here. It could be on the boat again. Could be in there, could be there. I don't get the game's obsession with using transparency on everything. Just gotta click on everything that's vaguely white for it. Could be in the man's trousers. Possibly. He could be chewing on it right now. Look at the expression on his poor face. Could be the napkin in a napkin holder. Okay, this is actually a little tricky. I don't see many things that look like they could be the recipe. He's not holding it, is he? You're supposed to click on invisible items? Yes, Antarion. Yes, you are. Where the heck is it going to be now? Where could it be? Maybe now it is one of the reflections here. Maybe it's hiding inside one of the pastries. I already tried the book. The book was the obvious one. It's not there. Can I really try all of these? I can't believe I slept to tear down and was only awake for this. Well, that's what you get for not sorting out your sleep schedule, TVW. Teardown was great fun, and this is fun in its own way, but it's pretty painful. Where the heck is this? The butter was bad enough, now where's the recipe? Okay, chat, does anyone in chat see where the recipe is? You don't have to say where it is, I'm just wondering if you can see it. Voomer can see it, Resty can see it. Spengler says it's right there, but I know Spengler is lying. Now I tried the top of the ship. The ship does not hold the recipe this time. Oh, man alive. Right, Roy, let's make some cake magic. Making cake is like composing a symphony. I like to add layers to really show what I can do. I'm not big on cakes, but maybe I've just not had really good ones before. Well, I like uh, chocolate Guinness cake. I make that and I make it really well. Oh boy. Right, let's, let's do what we do here. Is this really much of a cake? Oh, look at this thing. More of a really awful looking sponge.
What a waste, we make all this underwear and I never get to test out in a fella. And we've all got problems, Janice. That was a sad looking sponge cake there. What's the best cake you ever got? I remember when I turned five years old, I got this fancy five shaped cake. As in, it was shaped like the number five. I don't think I was very happy sharing with that thing. Oh yeah, cheesecake's pretty great, but it's not really what I'd call a cake. Despite having cake in the name. You know, it's like strawberry, not really a berry. Oh my, have I got to go and find underwear now? Well, not yet, at least. Well, maybe. No, not even the crown. Not even the cat. <laughs> this guy's back again and he's mirrored. Right, do we want a hammer, a shark, a light, an apple, headphones? It's not a headphone, that was a... That was an iron. Guitar, drums, chair, top hat, dartboard, little ducky thing. Sure we don't want the fan? I'm pretty sure we want a fan. Maybe that's specifically an antique fan. Okay. Rose, scalpel, lipstick. Not a giant fish. Okay, clothes peg, a fan, and a coffee machine. One of those sounds significantly harder to find than the others. Fan, clothes peg, coffee machine. Oh, well, there's that was the hardest one I thought there, clothes peg. Now, where is the fan of gaming and the coffee machine? I don't make a lot of coffee, but that looks like a coffee machine. A fan. A fan. A fan. A fan. Hmm. Blend it in with a wall or something? You'll never find me, sucker, says fan of gaming. I will find you and I will beat you. Are you holding the fan somewhere on you? In that giant forehead of yours? Huh. Where would the fan be? You'd think a big bulky thing like that would be hard, uh, easy to find. is this fan? I mean, I know it hasn't been very long, but it's just, a fan's a big thing. I figure it wouldn't be difficult to find. Big, bulky fan. Where are you hiding at? I mean, it could be very far away. Fish, a cat. Tin opener. Kind of looks like the blades of a fan up there. Mm. Oh, goodness. No, it's not an oriental fan this time. I think you've gone nuts, Nemi Blab. Maybe I should call you Nemi Blind. Ah, hell is this fan? 
It's like the last thing I'd ever have trouble finding in one of these is a big chunky fan. It's a knife. There's a bat. James, I remember the struggle of finding the bat in one of the earlier levels. It's me, Elden. Uh, it's it's above the cardboard box. Elden coming in clutch to help us out, and yet, hold on, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's the other cardboard box. There's a bunch of cardboard boxes. How could he do this to me? And there's one here, and there's one here. Looking above it. The one next to the lad, you plonker. <laughs> That's quite funny. And still, I don't see it, though. <laughs> next to the lad, you plonker. Wait, there's a bunch of cardboard... Oh, wait, maybe this cardboard box. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you, Heldon. Couldn't have found it without you. Now for the hot pot recipe that was close to his chest all along. Oh, this is nice. First Dark Young helps me out, then Heldon. Fig biscuits. God, I've forgotten all about those. Why didn't I have those when I was back in the UK? I mean, being back in the UK is rubbish, but kind of miss the uh, the home comforts. Kind of wish I could just open a portal into Tesco's or something, and then go and do my shopping. Certainly, be a lot cheaper than doing any shopping here in Sweden. But don't worry, soon I'll be able to go to consume all I want or need. How much left of this magic do we have? I don't know, another eight or so levels? Don't know about the mini games though. Don't tell Ty, he drinks far too much as it is. This will be our little secret, don't know what we're talking about though. Hmm. Right, do it a cup of tea, a paper bag, a whatever that is. An ancient looking fan, some fire tongs, fire itself, some tools. Uh, some floor pizza, some cat in a pot, some depression, some Dettol, Jack and Vera photo, let's not pretend I know who Jack and Vera are, we got it regardless. Okay, apple, rosette, boxing gloves. Well, I spy the apple straight away. What a mess in the sink. How can people live like that? As soon as I have washing to do, I get it done. That's Swedish pizza, yeah, marinating nicely down there. Okay, wrench, boxing gloves. What's a rosette? There's a wrench, at least. Bowling pin hiding around here, or is it one with the uh, one with the walls? Oh, hmm. I would have called that a ribbon, but maybe I'd be dead wrong. Boxing glove, flashlight, bowling pin. Boxing glove, flat. Well, I thought we had a flashlight hanging around here, but perhaps I imagined it. Oh, there we go. Bowling pin, boxing gloves. Bowling pin, boxing gloves. Bowling pin and boxing gloves. 
There's the gloves. Okay, just a bowling pin then. Uh, bowling pin. Yeah, very interesting they call it a flashlight, not a torch. That is... You'd be revoked to your British card for that. How are the retinas feeling? A little phased, Quintuple. I mean, I've had them surgically scraped with concentrated light before, and this feels not too far off of that. Where is the bowling pin? Is that a bowling pin? <laughs> white bowling pin on white background. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Maria. You've done a lovely job. I'd be a lot happier paying, mind. I won't hear of it. Okay, uh, what's what's the story here? Giving me hot and cold is not very useful since you're the... Uh, uh, it's going to lose time in the translation. The company that made the game is American. What? Now, as long as they're not Canadian. Go and enjoy yourselves. I'll tidy up lots of more tidying up. All right, Maria, get to work. Oh, she just still doesn't look very happy, does she? Okay, football, no skull, no pinata, teddy bear, apple, brush, milk bottle, plunger, beach ball, Russian doll, whatever the heck that was. Electric fan. It's not even ancient or oriental fan. It's just fan. Well, electric fan. Butterfly, fish, where are we going to find those? Croissant, cat. Bottles that can't be called bottles. Coffee machine. Iron, cardboard box. Sunglasses. Suitcase. Dartboard. Wrench. What is a shark, not a fish? There's our fish. Butterfly, scissors, baseball bat, gloves, and toothbrush. Yes. I think I couldn't see those scissors you were holding there. When you say gloves, they're not boxing gloves this time, are they? Alright, baseball bat, gloves, and toothbrush. Baseball bat, gloves, and toothbrush. Yeah, there's pizza again. Baseball bat, gloves, and toothbrush. There's gloves. Baseball bat, and toothbrush. Baseball bat, and toothbrush. Baseball bat is something they'd love to blend into the scenery before. It was a really tricky one to find previous, but I've just spotted it. Toothbrush. Toothbrush to the rescue. Where is it? Hmm. Yeah, we're on to the game's tricks by now. But that's how they hid the bit, the baseball bat in uh, one of the early levels, and that had me stumped for a long time. And I don't think I... I think I'd still be there trying to find the biscuits at this point. Right. Come on. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Mm. Whoa, we're going to be here for a while. Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. one next to the lad, you muppet. Yeah, here's a massive toothbrush for you.
Sounds like a hairbrush going through some knotted hair. Who goes into a hairdresser with knotted hair? Jagar Svenska Pizza. Ten Borsten are i de Blau Honda Kuna. Is anybody else hearing that? Doesn't sound right. It's something to do with the horrible Svensk pizza, and then on the something hand side of it, I guess. Yeah, strange Scottish accent talking to me. So, anyone in this chat knows Swedish? I'm glad Wick is there to uh, to point out the funniness of that. Been living in Sweden for about eight years now. Still don't know Swedish. Don't intend to learn it ever. It is pretty unnerving without music. The whole game's been running without music. Apart from the occasional... Well, if you want some music, we can... Ah. You can enjoy that. I need to top up on water again. This is thirsty work. Hydrated brain once more into the fray. To find this toothbrush. <laughs> okay. Um, enemy of plaque and decay, where are you? Just throw in the towel, Jake, it's getting late. Oh, oh, oh that makes me think of something, bouncy droid. There we go. Oh, but the recipe. Where's the recipe going to be? I don't even think where there could be rags around here. Mm. Disgusting bloody hinters ruining this screen. SMH, says Dark Young. The voice of the people right there. Sometimes they're obvious, sometimes it's just with these hot pot recipe. Where? It could just be anywhere. Maybe the ship is hiding it again? No? Okay. Big white pieces or bits of stuff on the wall. They can often house it. Couldn't, don't we have enough of the recipe back by now for her to piece together the rest using her old woman brain? It's terrible, Heldon. They should be hinting Jake in his native language if they wanted to understand. Oh, Dark Young was speaking clearly in my native language. Of Chuchter. What the heck? Let's 
going to be an awful hot... I hope that we actually get to hear the hot pot recipe and find what all this trouble was about. Could be a way to sell the game, right? Just like how in Helltaker, if you buy the game or bought the extras for the game, you would get the chocolate pancake recipe. But it was just like those Polish pancakes, which don't go me wrong, they're all right, but... I don't think I could subdue half of hell with it. I don't really have a Scooby where this recipe bit could be this time. I don't see anything obvious. No, I don't know any Gaelic. Not many people do. Mother does, though. Yeah, for lack of any better idea, it's just random clicking here. I can't see anything that looks even remotely like it houses the hot pot recipe this time. Only Heldon was here to help out his super fast. Oh man, I can't believe Heldon's there. I can't believe no one's come in to tell us about the rich Coronation Street lore. That's what's really grinding the gears here. Checking her arms. Oh. Funny, I thought that was the first place I clicked, but there you go. Nice, the voices that talk to me and help me out. Yeah, I think every Scot knows about the case of the Scots Wikipedia, Chronomus. Simon's all hungry. Anyone would think we never feed... Maybe you don't. That poor boy some food. Lollies aren't food, you idiot. My aunt, when she hung, uh, was nursing her hung, uh, hangover, used to give me a quid and tell me go down to the shop and get her a pack of double liquors. They were her hangover cure. They were ice lollies, but it was two sticks into a slightly larger bit of ice lolly. Recht. Oh boy, it's this room again. And is it exactly the same or are we zoomed out a bit? Can't tell. Anyway, fan, some kind of oil stuff, rose, crown, photo, clothes peg, broom, ball, bowling ball, flowers. Have we ever needed a toy robot? Kettle, a pint, a flashlight. Torch, I'll have you know. Paper bag. Booties. Okay, what else are we needing? Okay, we need an apple. There's one right there. We need a set of keys. They're right there, blended into the wall. Binoculars. Those have been pretty clear so far. Why am I not seeing it this time? Game. You mean video game or a rabbit? This is a video game, so I guess a video game. That's the knife. Binoculars and game. Come on, any of these could be games. Well, I suppose that's so different. He didn't have all these uh, books here before, did he? Binoculars and game. Well, there are the binoculars, but where's this game? Is it some kind of meta thing where I have to tab out and click on the game installation? Probably not.
Okay, assuming that it's not up there, what else looks like a game? Maybe it's like a board game. I'm not sure if video games have starred prominently in Coronation Street or not. But I also don't see a board game of sorts. Or a rabbit. What? That was a game? Maybe it was a Game Boy. Looked like one made out of wood with an analog dial on it. Or maybe it was one of those uh, games that in the 80s and early 90s there were quite a few of. Just a single game in a Game Boy-like thing. I had one that I was really fond of. Can't remember the name of it, but that channel Odd Tinkering Restored... Was it one? I think it was Odd Tinkering Restored one. It was all about just dropping bombs all over the place, but I really enjoyed it. And I really liked the tune that it played while you were playing it. I'm going to have to rewatch that to remind myself what it was. Yeah, electronic travel games. Which uh, defeated their own purpose, because you'd bring them and then parents would just say, turn that bloody thing off, and then you'd get back to sitting in the back of the car for another 15 hours. Okay, a bunch of chocolates. Mm-mm. But what do the chocolates look like? Oh my goodness, is that a toffee hammer? I love toffee hammer. Uh, oh, it's little squares of chocolate. Okay, she had one on her dress. Very slovenly. Local council fail to agree. To agree on what? Also, where's the rest of that chocolate? Chings are 14 of them and I've only found one. This is a poor start. They look like After Eights. I'm not the world's biggest fan of After Eights. Not a big fan of minty chocolate. I mean, I'll eat it. I'll eat anything made of chocolate, but... Where's the rest of the chocolates? This is so difficult. There's meant to be 14 of them on the screen and I can't find two. Or are they Invisi chocolates? Ew. Hairy chocolate. Invisi chocolate. Wait, that, that wasn't chocolate. That looked like a ripped out note. Oh, this one's taking a biscuit here. Hello from Argentina, says Sebastisus. I've been a long time lurker, just passing by to say thanks to the Caesar 3 YouTube vols. As a child, I was never able to beat Lug Dunham. Yeah, well, that's the big wall of the game. Seeing you clear it in a few minutes made me come back to it. Glad to glad to have more people playing Caesar 3, that's for sure. It's a great game. Glad you enjoy. You know, thinking about good streams like that carries me through horrible moments like this. Where the heck are the rest of these chocolates? Apparently there are ten of them. Any more hairy chocolate up there? Are we really meant to be looking for chocolates here? One of them did not look like a chocolate at all. Then again, might be more of that Invisa chocolate. Oh, there we go. Not quite Toblerone. Maybe Toblerone with its top broken off. I love Toblerone so much. Mm-mm. Okay, this could be the hardest one yet. I'm making little to no progress here.
Okay, folks, we're going to have to work together on this. There is sweet diddly to be seen here. I've already found six of them. All right, if you if you just find the other nine, then we're all going... Well, that would mean I've done 40% of them, right? Fan of gaming claims that you can see quite a few. He's just having us on, though. He can't really. Oh, that one is a bit more Toblerone down there. I also didn't see it. I just clicked there thinking maybe there's something in the blackness. I, and, okay, there was nothing there. There wasn't anything there. All right, I guess we're just clicking invisibly then. A four and a half kilo Toblerone bar. Oh. Weep at the very thought of that. I should look more at the price of confectionery when I was doing my Euro travels. I, uh, one of my New Year's resolutions, I think I made nine or ten of them. One of them was uh, no candy, and that's been a painful one. I really like sweet things, so making do without any chocolate bars or things like that's been painful, but we're almost halfway through the year. I'll go and gorge myself at the uh, 1st of January 2023. I can't see any more of the... Okay, was there seriously anything there? I'm not buying it. That thing behind the woman's hair, you mean this thing? Looks like one of those bead curtain door things, but not seeing any chocolates lodged in it, sadly. She's got some big hair. Could be a lot of things behind there. Six more of them. Come on, I found over half of them. You guys can break a leg. Surely. Yeah, this game is only 11 years old, Schizo. Up and right from the corner of the door frame. Oh, well spotted. There was indeed a slight rhombic outline there. Alright, five more to go. I've found nine. Uh, yeah, and you guys have found one. Let's try and even those odds a bit, right? We don't want Brazil versus Germany here. Do we? The toy camera looks suspiciously brown. Okay, no. It is suspiciously brown, but there's there's no chocolate inside there. I don't know why this game is so hard, Randall Thor 5, but whoever was the team behind this, they were taking their hidden object game real seriously. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a German team putting it together, going, ah yes, the object is hidden. Hidden behind 95% transparency. Interested in our new broadband packages? See, there we go. It's post broadband. It is hidden. We cannot see it. No one can see it. All right, where the heck is it going to be? It's not inside there this time. It's not inside that weird hanging thing here. I don't know what that thing there is meant to be. Looks like a broken mug of sorts. Oh, this level is just taking the absolute pesh. Chocolates.
one of them is pretty unfair. I'd say uh, 15 of them are pretty unfair, Dark Young. Okay, maybe the one that was here was, was pretty fair. And maybe the one in her hair, even though it was like brown on bronze. But the thing that was here was certainly no piece of chocolate. It looked like a torn scrap of paper. How long was Leighton? Leighton was a 20, 26 hour stream. It was more than 24 hours, right? It was painful, really painful. Although I'd like to do a similar long stream again. Okay, you know, maybe my other monitor will show this a bit clearer. Mm. It's certainly more soothing to look at because this monitor is back on zero brightness. Are you a chocolate? Mm. No, this actually isn't really easier. Curses. It was long enough to need a bet reset, so 24 plus hours. Savage. It's a shame they end the bets after 24 hours. Maybe it's maybe they don't want it to be longer because they don't want to be seen as encouraging dangerously long streams. Rerun all the Nancy Drew games. By the end of the run, the delirium will make up the fact that you know the answers. We already did a Nancy Drew rerun. I don't want to do it again. I'd rather find something else to, to run. Come to think of it. I said I was going to set up a new marathon around this summer, and we're just coming up for this summer. I have to start putting things in motion for that. Hmm. At least Bane carried a torch for me. Bane carried on that last game whilst I got my desperate sleep. Oh yeah, I've got a theme. I've got a planned out uh, fishy. I just need to put it in motion. Everyone be barren day will be a great success. The other Mario Marathon, Mario 64 to Mario Odyssey. Okay, Fishy can apparently see two of them. I can see zero of them. Can anybody else claim to see any bits of chocolate here? Are we supposed to find not one, but five pieces of chocolate here? We've already found ten. There are five more. Hiding in plain sight. Apparently. What is it you said in Murder Bingo? Make it worth our while, Jake. What did I say in Murder Bingo? I think I said something like, it's easy to take care of neophytes. Just shoot and shoot and oh, oh, ah, and then I died. Oh my days. Oh, hang on. I see somebody, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh wait, no, that's that, wait. Okay, I tabbed and I hit the chocolate bar. But okay. I've been I've been given some hints, unfortunately, uh too late. It's for something I was dealing with an hour ago. But thank you, anonymous helper with the hints. Okay, what did I was there like a chocolate bit here? I certainly didn't see anything there. It said above her folded arms, so it must have been one from a wee bit ago. Next time you tab, you might accidentally hit the click, the, the hint button. Oh, that'd be nice. But I'm trying to avoid any hints for all of this. Holy macaroni, where the heck is this last four pieces of chocolate? 
I wonder what this experience will be like for people watching on YouTube. They'll be on like a timer to find them all playing along. Auto clicker doesn't help, KW10001. Every time I make five misses, one, two, three, four, five, it spins the mouse around like that during which I can't click and then just puts the mouse off at a random location. However, if it's truly random and you, you had all day, you could just keep having it click, it might eventually... Oh, crikey, no, it sometimes puts it on the menu. Do not exit to main menu. That gave me a scare. Yeah, no, no, it's not me moving the mouse in circles, heavens no. Some of these bits of chocolate are incredibly small, so finding them is going to be hard. Especially when I'm just randomly clicking, because I cannot see anything that even remotely resembles chocolate right now. Come now, super best friend. Chocolate on her chest? She was covering herself in chocolate earlier. I've never been in a level that's brought me so close to wanting to smash that hint button, and I want to smash it four times. Hey. Oh boy, my body is negatively re reacting to the very idea. What could it be? Okay, maybe I should be ultra meticulous here. Is there anything in this little column here. No, 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 no. What about along this thing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 It's one thing to be brave, it's another thing to be completely stupid and wrong. Mm. Here. No, 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 no. I mean, they're not invisible, but. Where the heck are they? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so that's what Young gets for going on to old game facts. Sacrificing himself for a chocolate that's already eaten. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this whole quadrant. Unless there's something I missed on the ship. getting the sleepy sleeps here, which is making the game considerably harder, not easier. Is that just like layered sherbet stuff there? Interesting. Oh, 
Okay, I feel like I have been all over this place. We have not found any of the four remaining bits of chocolate. Back to random clicking unless somebody has some killer hint for me. Which would be nice, you know, might get us out of this little pokey weed corner store. I got bored after four hours of Breath of the Wild, but I'm still engrossed in this, says Boom Boom Sabun. It's because you know quality gaming when you see it. You have all the information. I have all the information behind this hint button, but I remain opposed to clicking it. Wow. Even Boomer's gotten out. There's a chocolate colored object in the packaging in the upper corner of the door. Oh, you mean this thing? No, it's not really doing anything for us. Looks like some kind of weird plaster scene model. Pizza Rific says they might see one. That's uh about as useful as a chocolate teapot, which would actually be quite useful here. But it still isn't useful. We can't like pan the map over to the left or something, can we? No. Just started hitting some buttons to see if anything would work. Hmm. <clears throat> what about right above the barrel on the lower left? There was something inside the barrel. But there does not appear to be anything above the barrel. That's the one I thought I saw, says Pizza. What? You, this thing? Or this thing? Or that? Okay, I think we've got to work together on this one. I'm not seeing any chocolate. I'll take anything that's even vaguely like a suspicion of chocolate here. Fishlip sees one that he claims is very obvious. And I've, just, I've been over this map over and over again, not seeing anything that's obvious here. Maybe try the right postcard, third from the bottom, next to the door. Third from the bottom. Third from the bottom. What? Right postcard, third from the bottom next to the door. I don't think any of those are working out here. Brown thing in workshop packaging. Brown, no, we tried this brown thing, that wasn't it. And that thing isn't it either. Are there actually any more? Okay, Baron says he's curious what the hints are. I'm gonna close my eyes and hit the hint button. Oh wait, no, what if that makes it short? No, no, we gotta go through the game without hitting a hint button. As tempting as it is. Your Rita looks guilty. <laughs> Devs never thought anyone would get this far. They never coded any chocolate. Come on now. Why would luck forsake me now? Were, were there any actual good hints? Brown thing? No, the brown thing wasn't it. Brown square and a black postcard, third up on the right. Brown thing on on black postcard. Brown thing on black postcard. Uh, 
around. I don't know what you're talking about around here. Any other potential hints? The, de the desperation is real here. What about next to the glass bar with the white asparagus? Glass bar with the white asparagus? These things? That looks like a, a load of toffee hammer behind it. Shadow triangle on leftmost... Leftmost box on bench above barrel. Leftmost box on the bench above the barrel. Shadow triangle. Shadow triangle. I don't think there's anything over there. It's so their sacrifices aren't in vain, Shill. Click off of that. Holy smokes. Jake, before the mods get me, six up on the left, the postcards! Six up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six up on the left, the postcards. I think I think I'm getting bamboozled on this one. Nah, someone someone's pulling my leg here. Must have been Dark Young again. <laughs> Before the mods get him. <sighs> this level ain't mucking around. Where the hell are the chocolates? We ain't hitting the hint button. They are definitely here somewhere. We just gotta find them. Slight outline next to the bear nose. There's a bit. Oh, the, oh, oh, oh! Wow, and it looks just like the shadow projected by that corner as well. Excellent job, Ollie. There are people in the chat who won't appreciate what you did, but I appreciate you. Woo! Eagle-eyed Ollie. Good job. Okay. There are still three more shadow chocolates hidden around here. My god, if they're anything like that, I'm never going to find them. What was, what was Elden talking about? Oh, sorry, Dark Young talking about. Green sign, top left corner. I, he, he's just he's just having me on. He's just having me on now. There's no chocolate in the top left green sign. Green sign top left corner. Unless, oh wait, maybe he means this green sign. Hmm. 
Yes, top left corner green sign is in the bottom left. He might have meant top left of the green sign. I'm not seeing anything up here. I'm not clicking on anything there either. I am also interested in the new broadband packages. <laughs> top triangle of the yellow bits in the m this thing. Yeah, I was looking at it. What? Oh, come on! I clicked on that before. I saw that and clicked on it. Okay. Right. What else is there? I thought that was obvious too, so I clicked on it, but it wasn't happening. Okay. Any more for any more. Also, in what world is that a hidden chocolate? Okay. Right. Two more chocolates to go. I don't know if I held and pulling my leg here or not. How in the Lord's name are those translucent polygons chocolates? Developers didn't expect you to get this far. They didn't finish all the chocolate textures. All right. Why did why did Alden tell me to look up here? There, there is no chocolate to be had in the top left sign there. I feel like we haven't done anything with this newspaper. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Maybe the package of the chocolate behind the white... Oh no, we tried this. We've tried every little pixel of this thing and there's nothing on it. Ancient Teddy's come in, getting nuked for saying right of the cutlery box. There's a cutlery box? There's a cutlery box? Cutlery box? There's even a cutlery box. Right of the cutlery box, there's a shadow chocolate. Well, first off, what's the cutlery box? I mean the toffee hammer box, but I'm not seeing any shadow chocolate over here. Oh, this is kind of cutlery. It's got like a hammer and some pliers, but cutlery tends to be like knife and fork. Check the Y in <clears throat> toy poster. Toy poster. Uh, it was a good show, but no. No, it's not happening. Right of the cutlery box. I think what they mean by a cutlery box. <laughs> oh, so shadow chocolate. What a funny term. Well, Finn boy, if you find it so engrossing, maybe you can pull your thumb out and help us out here. Two more to be found. Mm. <laughs> I miss the kettle. We need a bit of music just to spur us on here. Ah. There we go, much better. Okay, what, what do we have coming in here? Top left corner of the uppermost right candy bag. Sadly not. Promising, but no. Hang on, I'm getting a special transmission. Purple box on the counter. There's some kind of trapezoid that is a different color. You mean this thing? What? <laughs> no way! Oh my days! Have you gotten the one right to the left of the green poster on the counter? I'm pretty sure I have, because there's nothing there now. 
Did anybody see that chocolate? Because I sure as hell didn't. Is the brown thing on the workshop thing in the top r the thing in the workshop thing? Can we can we vague that up a bit? Hmm. There's a strange shadow triangle between two lights near the CDs. Between the two lights near CD, you mean here? Sadly not. How do we know if it's a shadow chocolate or if it's just a stain on the wall? Also the term shadow chocolate is cracking me up. The idea that these are special chocolates only from the shadow realm and they're infesting a coronation corner shop. Okay. <laughs> Try licking it. No. I don't want to taste the shadow chocolate. There's one more shadow chocolate here somewhere. Come on, folks. Let's, let's pull all those brain cells together. The thing in the place beside the what's it's... Oh, man. Pandy. Who else was there? Who else was there? The thing on the top... Th oh, man. Some people are just hurting me here. Is there one in the top left corner of the green CD? Oh man, no way, no way. Okay, thankfully not. That would cheese, you know, go oh yeah, that, that chocolate right there. Thankfully not. Oh, that would have been horrible. What have I just joined here, says Talwood? <laughs> We have found 14 shadow chocolates here, which have really just been 95% transparency shadings, and there's still one hiding here. And when they... Yeah, this is the invisible object game, not even a hidden object game. I think the best thing I can really do is just randomly click. If you see a vaguely triangular or trapezoid shaped shadow that might be the final shadow chocolate still a little suspicious about the newspaper i don't think we found anything on it runda says third cd from the bottom on the right i don't know why people keep saying this one i'm not seeing anything on it Are we sure they're CDs? Of course they are. They got the black bit on the side. Also, we did find a chocolate that wasn't at all chocolate shaped. It was like a torn piece of paper over here. Oh, hang on. I've got some more special messages coming through. The middle ship sail one. I think I already clicked on one that was on the ship. Yeah, I think that was one of the early ones I got, was the uh, the ship sail. Thank you. Whoever it was, they have numbers in their name. I'm not going to give away more than that. What else do I have? i got some special messages coming in here. Oh no, I don't want your Cory remix, Finvoy. Stay away. Stay away. Excuse me? Did anyone see chocolate there? Because I didn't see chocolate there. Holy moly, what? Okay, now for the hot pot recipe. This should be the easy part, right? Could be anywhere, though. Still probably better than anything else. It was clearly a weird rhomboid. Obviously a regular shadow chocolate comes in. Our mysterious benefactor. 
who might soon have a sword of their own. Okay, where's the where's this little rag of truth? Come on, hot pot recipe, save me. Yeah, mod game next week. Oh my goodness, please. I want to be done with this place. Come on, Heldon and Young would never actually run a mod game. They'd gesticulate about it, but they'd never actually do it. Okay, I'm at a loss. It's not stuck in her hair like the chocolate was, is it? Please, I am interested in the broadband now. Get me the broadband. Oh, oh, it was right there, of course. Hiding in plain sight. Ooh. We get to put all those shadow chocolates to good use. Ew. Ew. That's a bit nasty. Wait, they don't need to make some kind of pattern here, do they? Not sure I'd be up for that. Nah, they're pretty much all the same looking anyway. I'm unsure if this qualifies as a puzzle, but at least we're not searching for shadow chocolate anymore. Oh, do you think Dev would let us have a discount if we buy 10 tins of baked beans and a few dozen eggs? A few dozen eggs, a scary thought. How nastiest fan of gaming being here. I swear to god I'm gonna ban you something, something, something. Well, he's got the sword, he's got the impunity. No, there's no voice acting in the game, Shizo. It's just this stiflingly flaccid text that we have here. With characters I don't know. From a show I don't know. Doing useless mundane things. Okay, now we just need to find tins of beans in another wee store. Well, here's lots of tins of... No, okay, not those then. The specific tins of beans, I see. Oh man, that wasn't even a tin. Okay, come on, keep going. Keep on going, we got a whole load of tea, uh, bean tins to find. Ten more to be precise. They're not hiding, are they? I don't want to buy shadow beans. Oh no, there are shadow beans. I should have seen this coming. Alright. Come on folks, we can we can all pitch in together, surely. To find the beans. Hey, uh, what? What? <laughs> oh god, the Irish beans. Okay. Sure. Why the heckle not? Collect all the beans by 1500 to prevent the beans leaving the HRE. Yeah, maybe the boat of beans. Maybe you're made of beans as well. Click on her, she just disappears. Maybe this weighing machine's made of beans. Yeah, maybe the rucksack is hiding beans inside it. What about this bean flavored suitcase? Bean pizza? Bean door? 
All right, six more tins of beans. Where are they all hiding at? Bean breakfast cereal? I see literal shadow beans, says Skinardo. Spare me the shadow beans. Been a long day of clicking on beans, okay? Oh, right, yeah, they're the freaking window beans. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, the it it doesn't count these tins of beans. It needs to be the specific tin of beans. But I think now we've gotten all the obvious ones and it's only five tins of shadow beans. Behind the door. I'm not sure we can open the door. And again, that's not me throwing the cursor around in a circle. It'll do that if I miss five times. One super obvious tin remains. Is that so? How super obvious. I'm not seeing the obvious tins. Okay, thanks to that bleeding hat, I've got to click on pretty much every anything. Are these bean-flavored keys? Is your jacket made of beans? Is this the SS beans? Eh, it's the SS beaner. Okay. Right. Uh, what else is made of beans here? Some beans hiding on this pizza? No, no beanie tits. No beanie shortbread. Uh, beanie countertop? Come on, four tins of shadow beans. Folks, we can do this. Beanie ketchup? No, no beanie ketchup. It's that can of beans on top of the colored tubes. <clears throat> On top of the colored... Oh, oh, there we go. That wasn't even shadow beans. Well spotted, Baron. Baron's a good guy riding a high because he won his Caesar 3 map the other day. Right, three tins of shadow beans. Where are they hiding? <clears throat> Hold on, is that beans? No, there's no shadow wall beans here. Dear God, where, where, where are the shadow beans? Could really go for it. What was that really, really? Apt bit of kind of fruity bread, like serene or something like that. Could really go for some serene. Above the weighing scales. There's a lot of things above the weighing scales. You might want to narrow that one down, Dark Young. Oh! I, I did not see that there. Yeah, serene malt loaf. Mm mm. Haven't had that in ages. Alright, bean flavored popcorn? No. Sore bean? Where the hell are the beans? Come on, Heinz means beans. Not even Toga Boys, Boys in Blue can stop me most of the time. Actually, I'm not sure if it's most of the time, Baron. I wonder what percentage of your runs have been destroyed by the boys in blue, as opposed to runs where you have met the boys in blue and continued on to win. 
one of those questions we maybe shouldn't answer. Then again, I'm sure like me, you've got a very well organized playlist of all your Caesar 3 runs so that we can look back and enjoy such moments. Behind the counter, above the shop scales. We, we, already, we already did that there. Unless it's even higher above it. And now Fox can't help us out. I don't know if muted people can still send me whispers or not. Probably not. That seems like it would be very contrary to the point of timing out. Where the fudge are my beans? <laughs> the Irish, yeah, we took the we took the bean Irish hat already. Yeah, more people should be jumping into voice for this. That that's that's more fun. It's like when we had Heldon doing voice for Fallout guys. That could be you. Except hopefully you'd perform considerably better. Well best not to best not to ask about that cog one TO. It's kinda open season around here today. Wrath and Ruins trying to help us out with a beanie. There's a beanie hat? Oh, right, that's probably some kind of joke. Mm. Mm. Oh, would you look at that? Above the shop scale on that blue plastic bag. Above the shop scale on that blue plastic bag. What blue? What, blue? what was? What kind of shadow bean was that? That was nothing like a tin of beans. Okay, well there is one bean tin left to go. And they look like this, guys. This is what a tin of beans looks like. So open your freaking eyes. God, I was blind and now I see. <laughs> this game was never even passed to QA. Okay, since it could be anything, anyone got any bright ideas for what to click on? We don't have this variety of beans in Brazil. <laughs> oh, man. For a princess, Orlov's got a great sense of humor. Try her left eye. Come on, give me those little beanie eyes. No, nothing. You got beans in your hair? The last lassie had chocolate in her hair. Bean-shaped earrings? Yeah, no, sadly. I think that's just her hair there, actually. They're four-dimensional beans barely intersecting with our reality. Mm. Yeah, for all you know, you're surrounded by beans right now and you don't even notice it. There are beans on the fry up on the right. The fry up on the right. I think that's some kind of joke about beans in a fry up breakfast. For God's sake, please, someone, I need help finding beans. I'm in desperate need of help. Someone somewhere has got to know where the beans are. Take it for the team. No real Parker, I need your help. You can't leave me here. Surrounded by shadow beans and shadow chocolate. I got a real Discord timeout, so I can't even jump in now. So, oh my god. The mods just want me to suffer all night. Well, play, the, play the real meta. 
tell somebody else and have someone else come in. Oh, they haven't they haven't blocked the permission. No, they haven't blocked permissions on the uh, on the voice. Shadow on the wall, top left of the sails. Shadow on the wall, top left of the sails. I'm not really seeing a shadow, let alone a beans shadow. I'm seeing the plastic film that contains whatever the heck that is. Suitcase is probably full of beans. <laughs> we tried the suitcase. Suitcase is sadly not full of beans. Von Dougals is saying the shadow thing. Shadow can on the top shelf. Close, but that is actually just the shadow. What about these other shadows? Shadow was the name of my first ever cat long, long ago, so the word holds special meaning to me. Oh my days, where is the last tin of shadow beans? This is the cruelest hidden object game I've ever seen or played. And we have had hidden object games on the channel before quite a few times. Probably not as viscerally as Fishy himself does. What about the shadow under the book? And sadly not. Top shelf, bottom right corner. Shadow looks darker. It does, but no. That appears to be a legitimate shadow, and not the shadow beans. Good call, though. Unfortunately, you get mercilessly ravaged for it. Okay. Look, there's no stipulation saying the tin of beans can't contain other vegetables. Maybe you're looking for a tin of assorted veggies. I think I've tried most of the tins by now. Oh, I'm sure fan of gaming is putting notches on his belt, Pandy. His belt's nothing but notches now. And yet, we are one tin of beans away from being done with the Shadow Realm. Well, the Bean Shadow Realm as well. Next up, it's going to be Shadow Binoculars. Shadow tubs of uh, Jacob's Cream Crackers. I can stop playing when I win, Kajot. Uh, at the very start of this, I made a very poor decision in saying that we're playing this until we beat the game. And I'm not ever using the hint button. Of course, I happily use the hint to chat, because this game is insane. And I wish she wasn't looking directly at me. It's uh, making me a little uncomfortable. For the love of God, somebody's got to know where it is. Top right corner, that strange tube-shaped object. What? Top right corner, that strange tube-shaped object. Click on the bottom... Ah, oh, come on! Well, thank you, um, anonymous hero. Oh, no, Kevin. Everything is not okay. Everything is quite the opposite of okay. Everyone else has so many cigarette bri- Yeah, that was one thing that really cheesed me off when working. Smokers taking constant cigarette breaks. Well, good thing I wasn't in Croatia. They probably don't even do any work in Croatia. They just kind of rotate on cigarette breaks. So I know I need a cigarette break from my previous fag break. We need to have a meeting. Sorry, can't talk to you. My lungs are worn out from all the smoke breaks I'm taking. Okay. This seems a little more standard. Uh, although it's quite a busy place here, isn't it? Right, do we want a Buddha doll? Some kind of light thing? Another light thing? A name tag? Gormless face? A dartboard? A spool of wire? A parrot? A trophy? God, there's a lot of things. A ship, some boots, Russian doll, tire, 
a staple gun thing. Some kind of toolbox. Flowers. A duck. Is the apple on the list this time? No, not this time. I know the list is at the bottom, but I find it really difficult to go down and up and down and up because I don't have a short-term memory. So they'd be gone out of my head by the time I even look back up. Ooh, the skull is back. Okay, hammer, pliers, rose. Yeah, singular rose has been farting about before. Where is it this time? Still not getting the piñata. Crying shame, that. Also, there's a cat hiding around. Where's the cat this time? Normally the cat's always staring at us quite overtly. Seems a bit of a dangerous place to have a cat, though. That electric fan is back as well. Hmm. Be grateful the parrot doesn't tell you to get it a new perch. Oh, man, that parrot in Nancy Drew and the... What was that one? The Seven Treasure Island Thinger? Okay, I can't remember which... Oh, there's the cat. Have you considered the X button in the top right? Uh, it tempts me ever so, but no. So a drill... Oh, God, a drill bit's a uh, tough one to find. Hammer, pliers, rose, electric fan, drill bit. Very busy place to look at here. Certainly ramping up the difficulty level here. I clicked on those pliers before, but apparently not. Hammer, rose, fan, drill bit. That drill bit sounds like it's going to be a real pain to find. The mess of this garage would uh, cheese me right off. Just begging for a cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> we need the we need the silver hammer. No, we need the megaton hammer. Sounds like they're swearing when they do that muffled background speaking. Goodness, these last ones are hard. Oh, there's the hammer. There's the megaton hammer. Where's the rose? Is the rose also baked into the wall somewhere? Oh, I just noticed that butterfly there. Quite a low res hammer if I found it correctly. I did not, says the lab. Need more people doing these uh, horrible hidden hidden object puzzle things. There's one really good hidden object game that I played before, and I forget what it's called. Um, junkyard something. Junkers gold junk. Oh man, that's gonna bother me now. Um. I wonder if I can just bring it up and find it, because I really want to shill it while I'm playing this significantly awful hidden puzzle game. Ah, oh, there's the fan. Thank goodness. Right, what was the name of this hidden object game? Do I even have a, a hidden object? Yeah, I do. What's it called? Pickers! Pickers is actually a really good hidden object game. Picked that up quite some time ago. I was very impressed with it. So if you're looking at this thinking, wow, I would like to play this, but, you know, not this. Play Pickers. 
Okay, I'm just looking for a drill bit and a rose. The rose is probably baked into the uh, the wall or something. The drill bit, I mean that thing's tiny, it could be anywhere. Hmm. Please, Acronymous, I'm pretty hungry. I could really do with a Toblerone. But I'm not allowed one until 2023. Busy place here. Rose and a drill bit. I don't know, Starling. Whether it's big or small, it doesn't change the fact that I can't find this drill bit. All those poor people still su surfing on their timeouts from finding the shadow beans. Holy smokes, where is this rose? And this drill bit. I'd rather find the drill bit than the rose. I feel like the rose would be the easier one of the two to find. Or is it a shadow rose? Usually when it's lots of different items, they don't engage in the shadow realm quite so much. Hey, listen now, Mecharic. What happens in the garage stays in the garage. Don't ask too many questions about the piñata. Okay, I'm having significant difficulty here. And I'm getting really... Whoa! <laughs> I didn't see that rose there, but okay. That's a shame, because now I need the drill bit, which is probably the smallest and hardest item to find here. Alright, folks, drill bit. Everybody pick a small bit of the screen and try to see it there. What if it's not small? Well, if it's massive, great, because I'm at the point of random clicking now. Oh, come on, VF Mikey. You can help a brother out. Oh, I'm getting private messages about the, uh, the rose. I've already got the rose. So too bad. We're way ahead of you. Yeah, they should have a new sign that just says, Clean Your Workshop. Just trying to look at... Well, come on, what's a drill bit? They're usually pretty thin, unless you've got a pretty chonking massive drill. Yeah, I thought that was it there. But that's not the drill bit. I'm pointing at the screen as hard as I can, says Mord. Well, next to the elephant, there's an elephant. I don't see an elephant here. Hmm. I've never been timed out before now. Thanks for being my first, says Anchor. What were you t did you actually have the right answer? Maybe the drill bit is in the drill. Oh, if I could be so lucky. God, someone needs to clean this room up badly. It's the Irish hat again, of course. Oh, 
Jings, my lings. Come on, folks. Someone must see a drill bit. It was worth it to try. Plus, I laughed harder at the bean top hat than I have in months. <laughs> that freaking bean top hat was just something else. Is that it on top of the silver fold downy thing? Well, that's not it. That's a light. That's something else. I don't think any of these are... Oh, it's baked into it. Ah. Good call. Thank you, Aether. You're a very difficult song that I struggle to clear, but you've helped me out here. Aw, oh, thanks for the message. Dark Young saying, good luck, buddy. You've got this. Alright, we're back at the butcher, because I felt distinctly uncomfortable at the butcher fishing sausages out of a pig's ear. And then out of a dog's ear. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I would have taken trying to find that drill bit. Okay, come on, can we at least get sub six hours here? Put ourselves forward to uh, SGDQ or ESA Summer. Preferably ESA Summer. Seems like a lot of wankery there. Dear Griff, does this game ever end? It might, Tongtaru. And I know we'll all be sat. Oh, no, we are back in the butchers. Right. There's a lot of things we're looking for. I'm just going to keep clicking on things and hoping that. Something is right. Got to thin out the list below because otherwise I find it very hard to look up and down between them. Mentioned that a few times before, but I'll mention it again. Oh wow, there's a lot of things that it's not. How about the pinata? Why well, is never the pinata? He looks very happy to be there, though. Very happy indeed. Is that stuff in the ceiling, or is it just very nasty stained ceiling? Beans, Jake. No, we're not going to talk about the beans. <laughs> the pig's head... It Whoa, okay. Pig's head itself seems to be fading into the shadow realm. He's got a skull on display. I'm gonna go to the butchers. Whoa, I I, uh, I fancy getting a skull. There's apparently a coffee machine here. <laughs> There's a tin of beans, and yet we need a tin of beans. Apparently there's a can of cola kicking around. There it is. Another baseball bat's probably baked into the walls or something. That's where it usually is. Deliciously different. That must be an advertisement for the skull he's offering up today. Milk bottle. Milk bottle, milk bottle. Well, there's a coffee machine. There are the binoculars. Okay, so baseball bat, tin opener for all those shadow tins that we've got. And a milk bottle. Milk bottle proving to be a little tough here. Things has been a long day of trying to find hidden objects. I thought I had a tin opener down here, but perhaps it was something else. Baseball bat, tin opener, milk bottle.
Oh, wow. Yeah, good call on the milk bottle. Tin opener and baseball bat. Tin opener and baseball bat. Crowbar could be a tin opener and a pinch. Tin opener and a baseball bat. Oh, there's a tin opener. Okay, baseball bat. Is that you? No. Baseball bat is often just baked into the wall somewhere. I don't think I've ever seen it not baked into the walls. There we go. Now for the hot pot recipe. Where could you be? I mean, it could be damn near anywhere. Maybe it's inside the wallet. I'm surprised that it's not. It looked a lot like where it would be. No, this game has not taken a lot longer than the time saved on Breath of the Wild. I saved five hours on Breath of the Wild, plus the two hours that I would have gotten from playing a punishment game anyway. So as long as this is under seven hours, we have saved time. Nice touch. You can see the set behind the, the stage behind the set. Uh, I'm not convinced that's on purpose. Amazing, you think you'll still not be here in three hours. <laughs> Come on, have a little bit of faith in me. Any of these things stuck in the ceiling the uh, hot pot recipe? No. Not his hat, is it? Yeah, it'd be nice if the cow were the hot pot recipe. You need the entire cow for this recipe. Here at Aperture Science, we use the whole of the cow. We fire all of the bullet. Was it a Sniper Elite game that had that travesty of a trailer that had them firing the entire bullet casing and all? Can't believe that got through as many people as it did. What? what, what? <laughs> no, excuse me. What? Was it inside the meat? Oh, jeez. This thing got a bit grotty. Alright, folks. We've been through a lot today, but... As fair recompense for all of our time and all the timeouts that you people ate, we are going to get a scrumptious recipe to make hot pot. Why did we need this bit? All right, so you, uh, let me read it. We've got all the pieces to make the recipe back. Let's burn them to make sure no one else can get a hold of it. What, what? Betty? No. No. <laughs> it's cost me a fortune in free beer, has this. Better safe than sorry. Everybody knows the Rovers is the only place you'll enjoy my hot pot. And it always will be. I think Betty's got... We, we, give me the freaking recipe! Oh my god! <laughs> Right, all in favor of just hanging Betty, say aye. Oh well, at least we can free play each area. The replay value. Well, wasn't that something? Of all the games I've played, this one was certainly the most. Right, well, that was the punishment game for failing to beat the Breath of the Wild challenge. The Breath of the Wild challenge was awful, the game was really bad, and this game was awful and really bad. But, it was the perfect punishment game. 
hands down. So, amazing job, Sea Space Echo. I would expect nothing less from you, though. You, you've got a good eye for these things. I have three criteria for punishment games. They should be punishing for me to play, punishing for you to watch, or extremely difficult. If it's any of those three things, it's a successful punishment game. If it's multiple of them, it's a great punishment game, and this one was all three. Perfect. I had a miserable five hours and 18 minutes, but it was a good kind of misery, the kind of misery that makes you look forward to a brighter tomorrow. So cheers for joining for this, and until I'm back with tomorrow's streams, which given the hour we're getting at, I might sleep in for, God knows, but until we are back... Oh, right. No, somebody wants to know what the hints look like. Okay. What was the one? What was a shadow chocolate place? It just straight up tells you where they are. Oh, and you've got to wait for it to, to charge up. That doesn't seem like much. This was the most ridiculous. Okay. Maybe we can go by memory. Look at this piece of chocolate right here. Mm -mm. Wait. Wait, it's not there anymore? Oh, no. Has the chocolate changed location? No, that chocolate's still there. The chocolate in her hair is still there. The chocolate isn't here now. Oh, my God. There are different chocolate locations. Oh. Oh, it gets worse the longer we look at it. What a horrible experience. Good job. Good job, Sea Space. But I am done and dusted with this. So, until we're. I've already said cheers and cheerio. Stuff this. Good night. <laughs>